welcome to Sewing Quarter. My name's Amy Burrows and I'm here with you for the whole morning today. So we've got a lovely show lined up. Now, Midweek Masterpieces, that's the name of today's show. And we've got some gorgeous different fabrics and projects lined up. And Victoria Pete is here at nine o'clock and 11 o'clock. So I'll talk you through what's coming up on today's show. At eight o'clock in this hour is Fabulously K Facet. So we've got some gorgeous charm packs to show you bundled up in a um, bundle for a cushion and also a book from K Facet. Then at nine o'clock, Victoria is here to do a monochrome quilt, which is um, it's really gorgeous actually. We've just been looking at that this morning. At 10 o'clock is some hot new fabric finds. So we've got some premier fabrics in that hour. And at 11 o'clock is a crossback apron. So perfect for the kitchen or the garden and also a children's version of that as well. So a really exciting show lined up. In this hour, we're looking at Cave Facet, but also just remember, we love to hear from you. So please do get in touch, drop us a message, say hello, let us know what you're up to on this uh, sunny Wednesday morning. So you can head to the website and if you go to the watch page, Underneath the live feed of today's show, so you'll just see there, there'll be, um, in a second, there'll be a, the live feed of what's, what's happening right now. And then you'll just see that message, the studio box. So that goes straight up to our producer, Hannah, upstairs. You can drop us a message if you've got any questions for our designers or, or you want to, um, to see any of the particular products again, just let us know. And then underneath all of that, there'll be a shopping list of everything we have in today's show where you can add those to your basket. Now, also, if you want to send us a picture of anything you've made, you can email it to us. So that will be studio at sewingquarter.com. Send us a picture. If you've, maybe you've made something with some K-Facet fabric, you've had, you know, a quilting set from us before or charm packs or fat quarters. Let me see what you've made. I'd love to have a look. So yesterday, if you missed it, we had Irene Colesby in and she was showing us this. It's absolutely incredible if you didn't catch it. It's an Enfila automatic needle threader. Now, not only is this it, over 90% accurate in terms of just threading that needle straight away every time, but it's also really great value at 595. So you can see here, there's two different um, ends on the, on the sort of little gadget, and you can use it for two different size needles, and it's perfect for all different types of thread, embroidery thread, different thicknesses with um, wool and even fine ribbons as well. Lots of people buying this yesterday, and there was a bit of a problem with the website in placing orders, so we wanted to bring it back today um, because it was incredibly popular, and we know lots of people did miss out. So we've got these gorgeous K facets on the table as well, which I'll get to, but let's have a look at this needle threader so I can show you exactly what it does. We'll head over to the other side so if you did miss it it's really worth catching up on Irene's demonstration yesterday you can go to YouTube and all of our previous shows are there but I'll show you exactly what this gadget does so you can see see the magic of this in feel a little threader here so let's start with first of all what happened it actually arrives to you like this so this would be tucked away in this little plastic box here so it's a really small and simple um, gadget to just pop into your sewing kit easy to take around with you and inside here you've also got full instructions of how to use it so there's a step-by-step -step, a guide here all of the all of the little points to hold your hand through that technique but there's not much to it it really is pretty straightforward so you just pop this in the top just making sure that's sitting in that channel and then from there, all you do is you pop your thread across this little groove here. And if you're doing a single thread, Irene suggested that you keep one side slightly shorter and longer at the back. And this plastic here, just giving it some height to weigh the thread down. Then you can take any size needle, it's just attached to the table. <laughs> so you drop this simply into the um, hole here. So if your eyesight, if, you know, if you have difficulty with your eyesight, it doesn't matter if you can't see which way the eye of the needle's facing, you can just drop that straight in because the slider is going to find that. So then you just pop this across, that's it. Oh, let's just pop the needle in. Oh, what's happened? Oh, the thread's got caught. So you just pop this over there. It's too early this morning. What's happened? Let's just try that with that other needle. I think I've got the wrong. Lots of people were buying this yesterday. Saw the needle threading yesterday. Irene probably just did it much better than me. You just lay it across and you just pop this through here. There it is. And that's a much smaller needle as well. So you just pull that thread through there like that. That's it. Let's pull that short side through. And then you pull your needle through and that is threaded. But you can see there that the, um, what Irene was saying is that you can use this, a lot of needle threaders are limited to what size or shape of um, eye you've got on the needle. So you can use this for both round and oval eyes. And once you drop it in, I'll just show you again. Um, you can drop this in either direction. 
and then you just lay your thread across and this little slider is going to push that, it finds the eye of the needle, pushes it through, you can see that little loop there, then you just scratch it down, pull the thread through and it's threaded. Just like magic, really easy peasy. And the great thing about this as well is you can also use it for double thread. So I'll just show you how you do that. You, you make the thread sort of equal length on each side rather than a shorter one. You pop that across the groove, like that. So normally this wouldn't be on without Irene showing it to us. She's out, you know, she's been working, she's been selling these for over 20 years. She actually imported them from Italy with her husband and we wouldn't normally bring it on without her here to show you how to use it. But because so many of you missed out yesterday, we just wanted to do you a quick demonstration in case you want to. Um, we're already getting messages in about people that, that love this and buy it at the exhibitions and have, have bought it yesterday and are really impressed with the threader. So for double thread, you just pop this through like that. And you can see there, the first one's come through is your green. So let's just pull that through. And then you just lay your pink back down across like that. And there's your pink. Just pulling that through. And then you've got your double, oh! This is what, what happens here is you, meant to, you take this white cap off and that double thread comes through there like that. Let me just do that once more. Yes, so Sue had problems putting this in her basket yesterday. So glad we brought it back. So I'm glad you've managed to get it this morning. What you can also do here, once you've pulled this through, is just, let's just hold that there. And then you've got your pink. That's it. Just pushing the pink one through. As I said, Irene did a, a better job of this than me. This is her gadget. If you watch it back, you'll be able to see her doing it really um simply so that's it there and then you just pull that out and you've got your double thread oh that's, I, this is why I can tell you why I put the needle in the wrong way it's my fault <laughs> the eye of the needle was in the top what a, what a fool so if, if that was in the right way then you can double thread your thread as well and on this other side you can do thicker threads too so you can pop wool through here um, and you can also do it with um with little ribbons and things like that so we know, we just wanted to show you it quickly. We know there were some issues yesterday with that. But if you put the needle in the right way, so that's, that's my eyesight going there. If you do drop the needle in the hole the right way, then it will thread it for you straight away as you saw at the beginning. Oh dear, it's too early. That's what I've, what's happened this morning. That's not good, is it? So as I said, this morning is a fabulously K facet. So we've brought back some gorgeous K facet bundles for you um, to make this cushion. So you can go back and watch on YouTube. Jennifer Mills made this with, um, with John in an earlier show. I think it was the 6th of May. 6th of May, yes. So you can go back and you can have a look at that and see how Jennifer made the cushion. Let me just show you this. So this is like a stamp book collection cushion. So you've got all different um, patches here, perfect for a charm pack because you can have a taster of the collection and just use that to, um, to decorate your cushion. And on the back here you'll see we've used a spot on fabric. So that's just a complementary colour there with that, with that charm pack from CAFE. And it's got a lovely um, fold at the back. So really gorgeous. And also then you've got this, um, you, you get a solid in your bundle as well to create this sort of lattice effect. Um, you know, you're using that as your backing for your charm pack. So let's have a look at the book from K Facet that this comes from. I'll pop the cushion on there so we can keep it. We've got so many lovely K things all from all little, little different bits of material. So last time we had the book on, we didn't have the book separately. It was bundled up in a kit for you. So we wanted to bring it back today so you have the option to buy it separately. Perhaps if you um, already have some cave in your stash and you want some inspiration for a project, what to do with it, then this is a perfect book for that and you can buy the cushion bundle separately. So this is Kay Facet's brilliant little patchwork cushions and pillows. So he obviously has a lot of quilting books, but this one's specialising in slightly smaller projects with your cushions. So it's perfect for those charm packs, for pre-cuts, for, um, for fat quarters. So you've got, you know, a way to use up those smaller pieces of fabric. And it's also really lovely sometimes, isn't it, to have a smaller project that you can sit down and start to finish, you can, you can get on with, um, you know, and finish more quickly. So I've earmarked a couple of projects I wanted to show you in here. 
We love Kay Fassett here at Sewing Quarter. He really is the king of colour. And also, it's not only that. he Because he knows that his fabrics are, are so popular amongst quilters, the designs are made in such a way that he knows you're going to cut them. He knows you're going to fussy cut or you're going to be taking small sections from them. And that so in that way, you know, they're, they're designed in such a way that there's always going to be something of interest, something to catch your eye, even in a small um, charm pack piece. So let's look at some examples of cushions in here. I really love this one. So this is a floral cushion. And you can see there where you've got those florals from the, um, from the design pattern. But some beautiful photography in this book. And also, um, you know, you've got lots of, lots of different colour, lots of beautiful photos to inspire you. But let's have a look at that other one that I wanted to show. So what's great about this is you're getting really thorough details of how to do your layouts, where to sort of, you know, to pop your, your fabrics, your different colours, how to arrange that in a grid format, um, if you've got different shades and different tones. And then step-by-step -step instructions all the way through, just guiding you through the process. And what's great is you've got this step-by-step -step photography, so not just diagrams, but also um, lovely clear photos to make that a comprehensive guide as you go all the way through. Let's find that other project I wanted to show you. Where is it? Oh, this was a, I thought this would be a perfect cushion for charm packs because it's obviously made of lots of little squares. So it's ideal if you've got those different fabrics from the collection and you want to incorporate those into a cushion. It's a really perfect way to do that. Beautiful. Let's have a look. We've also got another one that I earmarked. I was busy this morning with my post-it notes. Some of them just catch my eye, but there's lots of different projects in here. I just wanted to show you some of my favourites. I thought this was a gorgeous one. So using three diagonal strips there to make, again, a slightly bigger pillow in that, um, that design. But just seeing how he brings together those colours. And then we've got, let me just show you another one. Oh, where's that post-it note? <laughs> A gorgeous snowball cushion there. So incorporating some more solids, which is, you'll see in these bundles that we've got in a minute, we're using solids there and also a dot fabric for, um, for the backing. But he's, so it's not always just about using those bold designs. He also incorporates some uh, plainer fabrics, which is lovely. And this last one I wanted to show you. Here it is. This is the stamp collection cushion. So this is the one that you can see that Jennifer Mills made on the 6th of May, if you want to go back and look at the technique for that. And she talks you through the whole process of how to label up your fabrics. She uses masking tape to actually stick, um, to label them so you know which piece is going where. And you can label them with your A's, B's and C's. So you can just see here, it, you, you've got different letters marked for your different fabrics and just giving you a, an idea of how to arrange them. So if you just want some help with you know, colours and how they work well together. It's just a really great way of, of holding your hand through that process. So this is the Brilliant Little Patchworks book from Kay Facet. They're not the only projects in there. There are loads of different cushions. And we, I think the great thing about cushions is it's a really easy way to, to quickly update a room and to add a splash of colour. So you might have a very, you know, plainly decorated lounge or conservatory. And not only are cushions adding that colour, but it's a, it's a quick way to update it. So if in the summer you think, let's add some more colour, Kay is the way to go for that because you've really got bright, bold vivid colors so talking about bright and bold colors let's look at these bundles that we've got for you this morning so there are four different options you can probably see laid out on the table here and every one comes with half a meter of a solid half a meter of a dot on spotty fabric a complementary thread and then also a k facet charm pack so i'm going to start with the two that i that i'm most excited about this morning because they're newest here at sewing quarter and these are 42 piece charm packs so you really are getting a fantastic taster of that collection so this is from the Sunshine Collection from Kay Facet. Let's have a look at some of these ones in here. So charm packs, five inch squares, all pre-cut and they've also been pinked on the edges so you've got no fraying, they're ready for you to just use straight away. All wrapped up beautifully in a nice little bow. But let's look at some of these amazing colours you can just see peeping through here. Quite a retro feel to that with your oranges and greens. And you can see, even just by me peeping, be, me showing you this tiny corner, if you take one tiny section and you were fussy cutting even, you're, you always get a bit of design. You can see here these Hawaiian hibiscus flowers. I love this one, actually. I've, I've seen that in fat quarters. It's a really gorgeous print. But lots of different designs.
This one here is a can-can dancer. You can just see there the chin of the dancer. This is her skirt if you, when you open this all out. What's lovely about these as well is you, once you get it home and you've got it, you can open it all out and you can start laying them out and looking, arranging them and how they work together. And there's always going to be one or two that you, you, know, you, you haven't seen before that, that take your eye. Lots of florals. That's, another, that's the can-can dancer in a different colour formation. Just catching the heel of their shoe there. Some cut crystal type looks with your pinks and flat and um, lilacs. Again, in different colourways. So just giving you the option to combine them in all different formations. Again, some more florals with a, sort of a geometric polka dot there. So you get so much in here, so much variation, so much different, um, different colour and different designs, different shapes, different patterns. Just coming through here now. There are so many, and I've skipped some too. Again, that cut crystal, this one's called Mercury. Then you've got your swirly shells here. Doubles of some of these. There we go. So 42 pieces in your charm pack. That's from the Sunshine Collection from K Facet. Now that's been combined with your ivory here which is half, so you get half a metre of this. So this is just a, um, this is a solid from our Spectrum Solids range. So this is just a really uniform colour. And you can see here on the cushion, it's been used to create that backing. So it really highlights the cave facet. It's giving it the opportunity to pop because you've, you know, you've kept your, your backing light. Then you've got those really bright, bold squares that just really sort of catch your eye. And then the backing fabric for that is your spot on red. So that's a sort of a post box red there with your cream dots. And you can see how that works really well with the bundle if we just hold those together. And that's half a meter of that one. And then your cream thread as well to go with that, obviously tying in with your ivory um, solid. So let's just pop our book back on that. So that's your first option. That's the red one, LJ G, oh, it's gone, LJ, what was the first one? LGJC61, that's your item number for that one. So that's the K Facet Red Bundle. Then another option, so you've seen that one in the cushion. This is another new one, and um, it's much a much newer K Facet collection with us here at Sewing Quarter. And again, you get 42 pieces in this one, your spots and your solid. So let's start by looking at the bundle. Lots of these are similar designs actually to the red bundle, but in a different colorway. So this one's called Shade. So we're looking at greens and turquoises here and we've got some purples coming through, lilacs and violets. So you've got your floral there. And then as we go through, lots of beautiful designs. You can see how this is a slightly different, um, well, it's a completely different colour palette, but you can see some of those running themes from the red bundle with your florals and with your, um, almost like a bunting here in this one. Really fresh colours. Again, that's your Can Can Dancer. That's my favourite one in these collections from Cave. A bit of a surprise, it's quite unusual. Here you can see one. This is, a little, little, um, this is the face of the dancer just peeping through there. She's have a little dance this morning. <laughs> then we've got, again, some sort of uh, polka dots with all mottled different colours coming through in that. Lots of colours that he puts together that you wouldn't necessarily pair or you wouldn't necessarily think would um, complement each other, but they really do. He really does have an eye for colour and for pulling those together in different colour combinations in ways that are quite unexpected, really. But he was a fine artist. He's, you know, his work has been um, exhibited at the V&A. He ha actually had his, his own solo exhibition at the V&A Museum. And he's written over 40 books. So he is a really um, well-established, well-respected designer. And well, we have a lot of cave here at Sewing Quarter. We really are a fan of his designs. Oh, I like that one. That's gorgeous. And you can just see how that's working here with your um, spot on and your solid that I'll show you in a moment. So let's see what else you get in this bundle. You've got your turquoise um, spot on, half a metre of that. And then you've got half a metre of your turquoise solid as well there. 
and then a turquoise thread too that's all been all been paired up so color wise we've done the hard work we've put it all together for you so we know those are going to work let's just see those together so you can see them in real human form <laughs> you can see that here with your thread and your um, fabrics and then your charm pack too so this one's 30.95 hvgc 92 is your item number for that one for all of those colors just with a really um quite a spring-like feel to those um, nice and nice and bright and vivid so we've done our red we've done our turquoise let's have a look at the lilac next so again, you'll see that running theme here with your solid and your spot. So this one is, um, it says, oh, it says green on your graphics. Hmm. Oh, that's because the charm pack is green. So if you get confused, the one that says green is just referring to the fact that the charm pack's that collection, but this, this purple one is confusingly called green. So X SGC20 is your item number for this purple bundle. So this one is slightly more affordable because the charm pack, you're getting 30 pieces in this one. So it's again, plenty to make the cushion. This stamp collection cushion using 26 different pieces. Or, or obviously all those other different projects from the book, some of those different designs that I showed you previously. Let's have a look at this collection, your green one here. Okay, for using a lot of those motifs that you see through the collections, that running theme. And also in that way, they work really well together. You could, you could combine these. Perhaps if you already have some cave in your stash and you just want some additional um, fabrics, you know, to, to complete the design for a cushion. But as I said, we've brought that book to you separately today, as opposed to in a kit, so you have the option to, to do as you please. And if you, if you need the fabric, then you can go for the fabric. If you need the book or you'd like to buy the book, then you can get that separately. Nice retro flower there. Quite a vintage feel to these flowers, actually. That pop of the bright green. You want to sort of pin dots on an avocado green there. A nice polka dot on a turquoise. And I must say as well, these are really lovely quality fabrics. They're 100% cotton, really soft, really easy to work with, so perfect for quilting. Let's just flick through some of these. So here is the kit. You've got your lilac spot-on fabric there. You've got a lovely um, purple solid. A really royal purple actually thread the threads are nice dark it's got quite a sheen to it i'm going to show you that in a second with your green charm pack from k facet so you can see there with that top um this top design in the bundle that you've got your lilacs and your greens coming through in that theme from cave so that's why we've tied in the purple here and when you just see these together you just see how that works as a little family really and um, so if you fancy a purple cushion this is the one for you you've got that nice royal purple thread your lilacs your purples and your K facet. So as I said, in this stamp collection cushion, there are 26 different squares, 24 different squares, um, all the way down through the cushion. So you can you could use a different charm pack square for every single one. So you can this is a way to just incorporate all different designs. Then your solid fabric for this side of the cushion, and your dotty, spotty fabric for your backing and your binding. Gorgeous. So one more bundle, one more colour option, because we know you like to have different options and different people obviously liking different colours. This one is your blue bundle. So again, I bet you can guess, we've got your spots, we've got your um, solid, your thread, and then your bundle. Again, this one is a 30-piece charm pack. So again, slightly more affordable um, from K Facet. So let's have a look at these blue designs. Those same motifs coming through, similar designs, different colourways, different colour palette. So looking here at your blues and purples, this one is, is called blue, so it's no, there's no trickery in this, um, in this one. So you've got your blues and purples here in this top fabric. Again, five inch squares in your charm pack. Lovely Hawaiian hibiscus flowers here. Some of these you get a double up of, but they don't look the same because you're getting uh, different sections of the print. So on that stamp book collection cushion, they'd still look different. It's like a little snippet. You get a snapshot of the collection. And it's also a great way to, if you look at these and you know you get this home and then there's a particular fabric that you like, then you can you could go for fat quarters in some of those fabrics as well and, and add those to your collection. But it's a great way to see which ones you know you in, you would enjoy working with. All different designs here with your blues. 
It's a the really rich blue colour palette. And also a slightly darker option, obviously depending on your home decor and what you might be using this for. So incorporating some polka dots. Lots of different options. So as I said, 30 pieces in this one, 26.95. And then let's see what's in the kit with this. So not only are you getting your charm pack, but you've also got your um, spots on blue and a solid blue as well, which is a, a deep royal blue. And again, a nice royal blue thread um, from Gutemann. So you're getting 100 meters of thread. EBGC32 is your item number for the blue one. And that one again is 26.95. So your greens and blues are both the same price at 26.95 with that 30 piece charm pack. Let's just see those together. You can just have a look how they work as a as a quartet <laughs> with those four different things in that collection. Let's see. Okay, perfect. So, some people sending in your pictures this morning. Thank you very much. I love hearing from you. Let's have a look at them. Oh, wow, we've got a whole collection of cave coming up. I can see it on my preview screen here. Here it comes, a little picture. Who's this one from? This is from Susan. Wow. Obviously a big fan of cave. She said she loves cave facets loves all of his colors oh and this is her first time quilting you don't look like a first time quilter that looks like some some skills work there are lots of different cushions and quilting and you put you pull together those different um i don't know whether they were charm packs or fat quarters but you can just see how they've look at the sofa behind and how that k facet has added a huge splash of color there and also that they work together. So you could, you know, you could go for a red, you could go for a green. And when you bring them together, because the motifs are similar, they just work really well together. I love those. So thank you so much for sending them in. Really gorgeous. We've got another one here, a quilt. This is from Christy. So you've got a table runner there, but with your um, quilting, using the green K facet fat quarter bundle. And so far she's made a bag and a table runner. And only using two, only using two of the five fabrics. So she's still got three fat quarters left from a five piece pack and she's made a table runner and a bag. Lovely. Oh, I love seeing your pictures. It makes it so, I love, it makes it so real when I actually get to see, you know, what, what you're making at home. It's so lovely that we can, we're sharing all of these different designs and patterns with you. But often we don't see the end product so we can give you the inspiration. We can say, you know, look at this stamp book um, cushion, but to actually see it and to see that you're, you're doing it, you really are making these things at home is, is really, um, really lovely. So thank you for sending those in. So let's have a look at the little projects that you've got in that book. Um, this one, the brilliant little patchwork cushions and pillows, a really great way of giving you different projects that are slightly smaller. So rather than tackling a whole big quilt, perhaps if it is your first time, um, as, as Susan said there, you, you have the option to, to tackle a smaller project and then you might think, do you know what, I'm ready to go for a quilt now. Or if you just fancy a project that's a bit quicker, then this is a great way to do it. So Kate's written over 40 books. There's 20 different patchwork projects in here, pillows and cushions. So let's have a look through at some of them. So it's great value if you work it out per project. You know, it's less than a pound at 18.95 per project. So uh, gonna keep you occupied for a while. So you can see here, this is another one where you're using those, let's lay this. If you've got a charm pack, this is perfect for that. Just incorporating all of the different designs. And as we go through, you can just see, it's a really effective way um, of, of learning different skills, but also incorporating them into projects. So not just reading, but, but having a go and applying those skills. And the cushions have a very different feel depending on which designs you go, which fabric designs you go for. But step-by-step -step instructions talking you through, you know, how to make the front panel, how to add the border, how to make the cushion back, um, stitching it all together and pulling it together with step-by-step -step photography all the way through that there. You've got a nice squares cushion. And whole page photography, which I think is really nice. So you get to see the cushions in situ. You can start to imagine how they might look um, on, a, on a chair or on a settee. That's using all those polka dots that we've seen in some of those charm pack squares this morning. And a peep as well, you can see here just on the back, 
incorporating different designs with your backing fabric. And what's lovely is with all of these, he lists at the beginning um, how much material you need. He's actually told you the specific ones that he's used. So if you want to completely replicate the cushion he's made, you can do that. And then listing your other materials and everything else that you need to make the project. So you're going to sit down and know you've got everything in place, ready to go. There's that charm, charm pack one, perfect for incorporating different designs. So the great thing with the bundles is you could use you could use the plane for the back and you could incorporate the spotty on the front or vice versa. But using the um, the solid plain fabric on the front, just really showcasing the K facet and giving it the opportunity to to shine really, making your charm pack go a bit further. So you wouldn't even use your whole charm pack for some of these cushions. You'd have some left over for your stash. That's cool, isn't it? The lotus cushion. That's really lovely. And talking you through the design process as well. And then I'm just going to skip forward a little bit, some of these other cushions at the back. Nice like, contrast snowball cushion there. But if I just show you, so for this, just for this one project, not only have you got your photos and your um, materials and everything listed, then we've got really thorough instructions, an assembly diagram, talking you through making all of those blocks. This is all just for one cushion, attaching the borders. Really thorough explanations there. Oh, that's gorgeous. Just different colorways as well. The X Factor cushion. There's one for Simon Cowell. <laughs> and then at the back, this is the stamp collection one. So on the 6th of May, Jennifer made this with John. You can go back and look at how we made that. And we've got it on our desk here this morning. But what's lovely is Jennifer marked all of these up with masking tape, just labelling them A, B, C, D. But you could use all different pieces from your charm pack. You could use repeats. So you could have, you know, um, A duplicated in different areas. So just your option there to customise it and to, to do it how you please. So it's perfect for those bundles that we've got this morning. Shadow box cushion there, so just adding different depth and texture. Again, with all those thorough cutting instructions and your diagrams. And then when we get to the back, we've got some patchwork basics. So um, sewing, you know, crossed seams, sewing your blocks, uh, basic piecing instructions and templating um, for your machine. Also talking about fussy cutting, preparing your fabric. How to do the envelope cushion back, which is incorporated in that stamp book cushion that you can use the bundle for this morning. And then you've also got your templates here. So they're all included in the back. And including a seam allowance as well, so you haven't got to add that. So he knows, he's tuned in, he knows exactly what you need. And they're all to scale too, so you haven't got to, um, to go you can use a photocopier or a scanner. So a really beautiful book from Cave there, YOMZ64, 20 different projects. As you've just seen, some of those really different designs with your X Factor, your Snowball, your stamp collection, um, but, and incorporating different elements from the charm pack so you can bring together those different, um, different designs. So which one's the most popular at the moment? The Sunshine. Let's have a look at that. So that is... This is the one that you can see in our cushion here. So let me just show you this cushion again. This is the envelope back that I was talking about. So you've got that spotty red polka dot on the back. Um, if you see it closer, you can see those dots. Obviously from a distance, it might look just solid. And then on your front, obviously you don't even have to use these together if you didn't want to. There's the option to use the fabric however you please. But this is, I just think this is a perfect way of showcasing all those different fabrics from the charm pack. 24 different squares there. And just taking, you know, fussy cutting different sections so you could choose to take a, a flower and you could even build a flower in the middle and then have polka dots around the edges or you can use different, the cut crystal ones or the retro flowers. Combining those however you like. And I think it works beautifully with that ivory um, solid, just giving the, the cave, you know, a framework really, creating, creating windows for it to pop through. So let's look at the bundle. So well, you get th th those fabrics that you see in that collection are from this charm pack, um, which is the Sunshine Cave Charm Pack. And there are 42 pieces in this, so a really comprehensive um, guide, not guide, but sort of uh, 
taster of the collection. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, so you've got lots of different fabrics in here. Let's have a look at some of those. You've got your um, different flowers, different polka dots, different cut crystals. Like a botanical garden. I just want to show you these so you know exactly what's going on in here. But you could see if you were just taking a small square section, it would probably just be, a, you know, a similar, similar to a quarter of what I'm showing you here. And you could fussy cut those, choose the bit exact, exactly the piece that you want and use that for your cushion. Sunshine collection, perhaps because it makes us smile this morning. It's nice and sunny and it's nice and um, the sun makes you happy. And you've got your Can Can Dancer, just peeping through here. Okay, so there are a couple of people with the Sunshine Collection in their baskets at the moment. And we've actually got less than five of these in stock now. So if you do want it, just make sure that you check it out or you can give the call centre a ring. 0800 112 4433. Just as well, if you don't know, if something is in your basket, if you've not checked out all the way through to the end, you're not guaranteed your order. So it's not to add any undue pressure. It's just that until you've checked out, then it's, then it's yours. It's allocated to you. Um, but before then, it, it isn't, so you just need to make sure you've gone all the way through to the end. And it's only one postage and packaging all day, so it's capped at midnight. If you see something in a later show, you can add it in and you won't be charged um, $2.95 again, just that one payment. Let's carry on looking at this sunshine bundle. There's your dots that you can just see here. This really has been a popular one this morning. What's nice as well is with the charm packs, because they're five inch squares, so they're so, sort of small sections of material, you're getting different um, parts of the design. So even if you've got a, a duplicate of a pattern, it's, you're not getting the same because it's, you know, you can see there, it's a whole different section of the design. So you're getting different elements and different shapes and different colors. There's another Can Can dancer. She's upside down. <laughs> She's doing a handstand. Lots of different colours here. Some more burgundies and purple fills coming through in that one. If you wanted to fussy cut, you can just take little sections like that. I'm not even through. I could just keep going and going and going. There are so many. My fingers can't move quick enough. Okay, so lots of people getting excited about these cushions now and these different bundles this morning. Oh, we didn't even get to this bit. I love these, this is sort of a lattice effect one here, which works really well. I want to show you all of them. I'm gonna run out of, um, run out of time. Lots of different cut crystals. So Beverly's messaged in. Let's see if I've got this on that on my. Oh, I haven't got it here, but let's see. Also, her signal cut out on her television, so she switched to watching it on her phone. She couldn't bear to miss it. So I'm glad you're still managing to stay with us this morning, Beverly. Um, <laughs> good, good work. I'm impressed. You, you know, if needs must, watch us on your phone. You can watch us online on the website. So that's um, that's a, a true. True stubbing quarter supporter there. So in that, um, I wonder why you've got signal failure. That's strange. Not with this weather, you wouldn't expect. We haven't got any stormy weather, have we? I hope not. Oh, hay fever. It's driving us mad at the moment. My, my, I, I get hay fever. Producer Hannah's got hay fever. If anyone's got any, in, you know, crazy tips that I haven't heard of for hay fever, please let me know. Um, so we've got that, but in that bundle, you've got your um, charm pack, 42 pieces there. And then you've got your spot on fabric on the back. So this is a red spot on. You've got your ivory um, fabric. So half a meter of each of these, which is enough for your cushion. And also a cream thread there as well in that bundle. So let's just look what's in that whole kit. 
So you've got, for 30.95, you've got your cream fabric, your spot on, um, spotty fabric on your red, your 42 piece charm pack, and your cream thread. LJGC61 is your item number for that, 30.95. So less than five of those in stock now, so just make sure if you do want it that you, um, that you get on the website. So the next most popular is, is it the blue? Oh, they're all catching up with each other. Let's look at the turquoise then. That's the next one at the moment that's in the lead. So um, this one here is again a 42 piece charm pack, um, a newer collection from Cave here, here with us at Sewing Quarter. So let's have a look at what's in this one. You've got your turquoise and your spot on. Let me show you just how much you're getting in one of these fabrics. Let's open one up. So you're getting half a meter of this, so which is absolutely plenty for your back of your cushion and your binding as well. That's your spotty fabric there on a nice um, sort of fresh turquoise color. So you've got that for your backing. Then you've also got half a metre of your solid, which I won't open, but you can just see those working together there, and your thread too. So let's just see those. And then paired with that is the K-Facet um, Shade Charm Pack. And let's look at some of the designs in there. So again, 42 pieces, different colour options, similar motifs, similar designs. So you've got some purples, greens, can we undo one? Yes, I've got permission to undo it. I love it when that happens. <laughs> Let's have a look. Okay. What's, I love, what I love about, um, well, fat quarters and charm packs is just how they're wrapped. It's, you, feel, you, know, you feel like you've got a little present here to undo. Let's pop our ribbon here. So this is from, um, they're free spirit fabrics, so they're 100% cotton, really um, sort of lovely, fab, lovely quality fabrics. But let's lay out some options so you can start to see. Let's, so you can imagine the stamp book cushion, but in a different colour. So you've got here um, a nice floral print there. Let's put some different ones out. Then you've got um, your greens, and uh, that's a nice bright lime green there, actually. Oh, we've got a little bird coming to say hello. Let's move this so we can lay them out. Lots of different florals. We can make our own, we can make our own cushion out of the green charm pack. So many, there's, there's a, so much creativity within these designs. And when you just start laying them out, there's our can can dancer. You can see her here, and we've just caught the bottom of her, um, of her leg there. But you can just play with these, you know, and, and, and rearrange them in different color combinations, pair them up differently. But so many different designs, and it's lovely when you open it out that you can start to see those. Let's go for six. Let's go for the full cushion size and see the sort of effects that you could get with the turquoise bundle. And we're still going to have lots left over as well. There's 42 pieces in total, so you still have 16 different, um, different charm pack squares. Oh, here's our can-can dancer in another colour option. I love that one. She's my favourite. <laughs> Let's pop some different florals on here. But these are all different. I've not doubled up any of these ones on the table yet because you've got different colour options in some of them too. Let's just add, we can do one more row. I'm going to run out of space. But this is an example of what I mean where if you had a different, if you, even if you have a double up of one, if you wanted to fussy cut or just take a small section, you're always getting an element of design. So like here, you could just take that tulip and just take a small section of it and you could choose to centre that in the middle or you might just choose to, um, to take a different area of the, of the charm pack square. And again, with this one, if you, you know, you've got the option to take different sections that you want and always getting an element of design, always getting something um, you're always getting, so you're in value for money in that sense. You don't get anything. There's nothing plain about CAIF. There's always something on offer. Let's lay out some, one more row. So again, as well, you can see the squares in the cushion are smaller than this, so you'd, you'd still have fabric left over. Here we go. Um, so look at that one there. So you've got your six squares. This is imagining how that would look as that stamp book cushion with your um, aqua fabric in the background of that. So you could just imagine it like this. You can really start to see how that would frame the fabrics. And on the back of that, or you could do it the other way around. You could put it on spot if you wanted to, but you've got this turquoise and um, spotty fabric for the background or for the binding. But that's just an example of how those colours all come together. And look how many we've still got left. I've still got a whole bundle in my hand that I've not used. 
all of these different designs. Some of them I've not got out, even got on the table. They're still different ones. Oh, look at that one. I like that. So in the book, the one where you've got lots of different um, charm pack, you know, different designs combined together, let me show you that, because the charm packs are perfect for those designs. It's this one here. So you can see how you could incorporate all those different, these different patches and bring them together to create a cushion like that. So let's just see together. You can see the cushion there and the different um, fabrics, how they, would, how they would work in a cushion. I don't know if you can just see that as is your different, um, because obviously with the cave book, he uses his own fabric, his own design. So you're going to be able to create something exactly like what you see in the book, not just, um, you know, not just an attempt at it. You can, you can completely replicate what he shows you in here, or you can, you can change it and personalize it with your own fabrics. So that one there is the shade cushion. I'm not sure what I'm not sure why it's called shade because it's definitely bright and vivid. But HVGC92 is your item number for that one, and that's 30.95. So you're getting 42 pieces of fabric in your charm pack, your two a half meter cuts, and also your turquoise thread as well. So let's just do a quick gather up. Da -da 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 -da. So there you can see it on your screens there. So the dark blue one next is your most popular or the next most popular, I should say. Let's look at that. So this one here is slightly more affordable and um, because it's a, it's a smaller charm pack, so you get 30 pieces, which is still plenty for your cushion, which has got 24 squares incorporated. So um, we actually use this blue range that you can see on the um, quilt on the table. So this is from a jelly roll, obviously it's much bigger than a cushion, um, but you just can see how those colors start to work together. Let me bring it in. I don't know if you can see it there if I hold it up but you can see how those colors are all working together. Just to give you a taster of what you can do with CAFE and how you can pull it together. So let's look at this charm pack, 30 pieces in this one. And this one is called your blue bundle. So you've got a blue solid, a blue spot and a blue thread, and then 30 pieces here in this CAFE facet design. So you might start to see, let's just look at a couple of these. Let's just pick out a couple of favorites. So you might start to see, um, you'll see similarities through the bundles in, the in terms of the designs and the motifs, but different colors and they do make them look very different. So some of these flowers look so different in a blue compared to um, in the greens and purples, just you, you know, offering something different. Let's look for some of my favorites. Here again is what I mean about fussy cutting. He knows you're going to cut, he knows you're going to take small sections. So you could just take this tiny little element here um, from the charm pack square. Let's look for some others. Then you've got some busier designs in fabrics like this. And they still go together, they still tie in. Now we've only got four of these uh, blue bundles left. Everything's going quickly this morning, so if, if you do want this one, you can, um, we're down to three, someone's just got one. So if you do want to add this to your basket, make sure you, um, you do that now. Where's this one I, I want to get? This is gorgeous. So some lighter options as well with lilacs and um, some softer blues coming in there and your pinks. Now, producer Hannah's saying, she, if she went into a fabric shop, she wouldn't necessarily think to put these together. And I think that is the, you know, that's where we have to give credit to the designer because they do have an eye for it. They do know, they put things together that you think, oh, I'm not sure about that. Some of us aren't necessarily great with color or you, you don't, you're not sure if designs work, but all as a combination, as a, um, as a family of fabric, they do work. So let's just, if I just show, show you there, that's just a small taste of what's in that collection. And you can see how there's running colors and how they, they do work together really, really beautifully. Look at that there. So just be aware, we can see um, that, that we are very low on stock on this one now. So if you do want it, 0800 112 4433. It's a UK-based uh, call centre, so you can just give us a ring and your item number is EBGC32. Or on the website. If you're Beverly and you're watching on your phone because your TV's not working this morning, you can order on the website. <laughs> Oh, Beverly says there's thundery storms in West Scotland. That's why her signal's gone on her television. What a nightmare. 
Oh, and Beverly is saying the best thing for hay fever is locally produced honey. Have to, we'll have to give that a try. Thank you. For, I'm loving the hay fever tips. I need to tackle... It's such a nightmare. It doesn't, no, I, I'm sure the tablets don't work. I, I, don't, I think the pollen levels are just very high at the moment. It's not... Um, not fun. So it's really okay when we're in the studio. We've got no sunlight, no um, no air in here. <laughs> well, we've got air, but not not air filled with pollen. So we've got um, your solid in that bundle as well, and also your spotty blue and your blue threads. Let me just show you that here. Oh, there's only two left of this bundle now. Twenty-six ninety-five. So a more affordable option 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 for your cushion. EBGC thirty-two. Do we want to look at the green bundle? Okay, oh, we're going to look at these other books from Kaif. So as I've mentioned, um, Kaif has written over 40 books. And what he does now is every year he uh, releases a book and, and they're, they're photographed and they're inspired by different um, areas in the world. So we've got two today, from one from um, Provence in France and one from Italy. And he's really inspired by the um, locations themselves and the pictures and the uh, landscape that he sees there. So I'll just show you an example of exactly what I mean in the Italy book. So, oh, I'll come back to that quote in a second, but this is, this is what I found interesting. So he takes a, he looks at a picture like this, and this is what inspires him to go there and to, to use those colours and incorporate those colours into his work. And he wants to showcase his quilts in locations like that rather than, you know, in a studio or just on a, on a plain chair. So you start to get this. You get a taster of the, of the culture, of the location, and you can see those different colours in the pictures, look at these are beautiful photos. Lots of different quilting projects in here. And the photography is just stunning in these books. And where, where as well some of his designs are inspired by nature with your florals, it's lovely to see them in a, in a natural location. I'm just going to show you a couple of projects I highlighted in here. I like this one because I thought it was a perfect way of showing you this is, you know, how charm packs, if you were scaling up that cushion that we saw in the other book with all your different small sections of designs, this is your rusty squares quilt from K Facet. So lots of different designs and squares there to create that quilt. And again there with your uh, desert. Just lots of inspiration. And look at this one, Losing My Marbles. What a name for a quilt. Just, the, I, can't, I can't imagine the satisfaction finishing a project like that. And one other one that I wanted to show you. Whirly Gig. So just lots of different uh, combinations of colours and blocks and a really um, thorough guide and instructions of, you know, how to assemble the patchwork, how to assemble your blocks with diagrams. And again, at the back, your template with a seam allowance. So you've got all of those there. So that's the Italy book, CPMZ48 for Italy. Or if you fancy France, we've got another one here um, from Provence. So let's look at some of the photos in this book and see how... Oh, I just got home from France. Had a, it's so, the weather over there is beautiful at the moment. And just this lovely, so, such typically French um, sort of landscapes photographed here. With your terracottas. So then as well, your fabrics, talking to you about the different fabrics he's incorporated. And just some examples here of quilts that I liked um, that, you know, are, are in situ. Let's just shine that out of the light. So you can see that in your, in your streets of France. This one here, sugar and spice quilt. Again, just trying to show you how you could use, um, you know, similarly like that with those charm pack squares in the stamp collection cushion. How on a larger scale they come together. And again with this one, the fruit salad quilt. Look at that. And one more I wanted to show you. The blush quilt. I just think the effect of that is so... And you know that if you looked closely, these are all different fabrics, but because of the how the colours have been laid out, you really get that effect of sort of a gradient and just creating that depth and texture. 
RCMZ27, that's for your French K facet book. Um, and so you've got two different options there with um, Provence and Italy. And this is an example of a quilt that we've made. So you can see how those, how those fabrics really come together to create a, a bigger quilt if you don't fancy a cushion. So, which is the most popular bundle at the moment? The, we have the purple. It's called green. So this is really confusing. The bundle's called green, but it is actually purple. It's because the, um, the charm pack is called green. Which one sold out? The dark blue one, this one has sold out. So I'll take this one off the table. Um, but we've got, let's look at this green one here. So again, you've got those similar designs, similar motifs, but in a different colorway. So you've got your turquoises and greens coming through in this one. <laughs> I just want to give you a taster of what's in this one. A really nice bright feel with your greens. Perhaps you could do a cushion for the garden, particularly with some of these florals as well. That sort of retro feel coming through in that. Lots of different designs. And with that, that's been coupled with um, a lilac spot on fabric and a purple solid and also your royal uh, purple thread there. So you can just see those together, how they work together. Um, XSGC20 for your green but secretly purple bundle. And that one's 26.95 because you're getting 30 pieces in the charm pack. Now the sunshine bundle, if you've got that one in your basket, which is the one that's showcasing the cushion here made by Jennifer, just make sure that you check that out Oh, there's only one of those left, so you have to be quick um, if you want to check that one out. So you, with all of these uh, bundles today, you're getting your charm pack, your solid, your spotty, and your thread, and you can create those, um, you know, for a cushion using the brilliantly little patchwork uh, cushions and pillows books. So Jen, uh, next up in the next hour, we've got Victoria, and we're looking at a monochrome quilt, which is, well, I'm aptly dressed in black and white ready for it. We'll see you in three. <laughs> Follow us on Pinterest, search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing, work, we create and love. There are many different ways you can buy from us here at the Sewing Quarter. You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sewingquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products, excluding custom-cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us, even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433 email us at help at sewingquarter.com visit our facebook page follow us on instagram follow us on twitter at sewing quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air Take your quilting skills to the next level with a little help from patchwork prodigy Lucy Brennan. Join us on Friday the 23rd of June when Lucy will show us how to make a stunning sunshine quilt block. Armed with the ultimate quilt block collection bookazine, compiled by the experts behind Love Patchwork and Quilting magazine, Lucy will guide us step by step through this traditional technique and, what's more, she'll suggest some beautifully matching fabrics to help you achieve project perfection the easy way. So, join us for this Quilt Block Showcase, Friday the 23rd of June at 8am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Sewing Quarter is at the very heart of sewing, as we bring you all things sewing and quilting. The team behind us live and breathe sewing day to day. We strive to bring you exclusive offers, exciting live demonstrations, and most importantly, 
we will custom cut fabric to your specification in our very own cutting room. We will also be bringing you TV exclusives that you won't be able to find anywhere else. So come and join us today at the Sewing Quarter. Welcome to the Sewing Quarter! Here with the lovely Victoria in this hour. Hi. Um, so we're doing a monochrome quilt, which you can you might be able to see on the desk here. We were just saying we look like we've dressed perfectly for the quilt. Two colours. Two <laughs> black and yellow. Um, so you can just see this is one that Victoria's made. A really gorgeous um, monochrome quilt, but it works with that splash of yellow, doesn't it? Yeah, I love a pop of yellow. Just really bringing out the, the black and the white, rather than just keeping it simple, you're adding that splash of colour. So we're using a monochrome, well, it's actually a black and white book, which is here. Oh, here, I've stolen it. <laughs> As if by magic. So this is um, quilting in black and white. So it's all about using those, you know, those two colours to create different designs. And there are some really gorgeous different ones in here, in this, um, this well, 16 different projects. And I highlighted a few that I wanted to show you this morning before we get started. So... What made you choose this one? Um, I liked the yellow. You like <laughs> <laughs> You're predictable. But I really like the splash of yellow. Just to add that yeah. bit of colour. Yeah, it's really Let's nice. Let's see that one. Where's one? I like this one with the cat. This is, it's quite cool, isn't it? It's quite unusual. You can just see here incorporating a, um, a little fairy friend, but you can see with those black and whites how you can still create such an intricate and, and detailed um, quilt just using those two colours. Have you got a cat? Cat at play. I do actually. Oh, do you? Called Alfie. Aww. <laughs> do you Lovely. have a cat? No, we have a dog. You have a dog called a dog. Roxy. Roxy. I like that name. She doesn't like cats. What sort of dog is it? She's a Hungarian Bichler, which is a big, I big pointer, like a. Wow, I don't, I don't think I've ever. Short I've, I've known most dogs. Oh, I don't she's think you lovely. Have to show me a picture. I will get you a picture. <laughs> Um, this one as well, I wanted to show you this, uh, this quilt. This is the white birches. So again, um, keeping with that monochrome theme, but you've got a different design there and, and sort of a, um, almost like different trees. Yeah, it's quite contemporary. It's the one that's on the front cover of the yeah, book. It's, it's got wonder... a contemporary feel to it. And again, they've put the splash of colour in, but they've just put a little bit just of red with the birds. Just a tiny, just a tiny bit. And then, then this last one here, which is the one that's on the front of the desk. So this is obviously a scaled down version. We can't quite smaller. manage to cover our table. Um, but you can see it here on a bed. And this is how you, you know, when you start to see how that yellow really does, does add something to the mix. Starry Lane. So that's the one we're making today. And we, rather than what we've done is we've got different fabrics that you can use to combine to make the quilt. Um, but we've also got one big bundle. So if you want to make that quilt that you've just seen on the bed there, then we've got a bundle that includes everything you need to make it in that size, which is what size of, it's, well, let's, what was it the was size? It was 70 inches 70. by 94 inches. So Did Hannah work out what that was? In, in metric. In metric. We'll, we'll figure but that I think out. it's like a, like a bigger than a double. So it's like a queen size, it's maybe a, a queen. decent size. It's a nice, a nice big quilt. Mm. Um, so let's have a look at the fabrics, the different fabric options we've got in this hour that are included in this quilt. So we've got four. I'll start with our um, dots. So we've got this one here, which is um, sort of a scalloped dot on a white background. So you can just see there, it's like a really small uh, pin dot, really. But you can start to see that scallop shape coming through. It's nice because it gives a bit more interest than a the, plain yeah. dot. Rather than it just, it's amazing how just the placement of those polka dots, because really, if you look really closely, you wouldn't see any shape at all, but actually no, there on, is. And on some of these pieces, you can't see it, but when you see it on the larger black piece, you can see the effect of the You get the that swirl. curve, you get, yeah. get it coming through. So that one there is the scallop on white background. That's a dotty one from Macawa. So this is being sold in half meter, meter increments. All of these are cut to measure, so you can have as much or as little as you want. That one is 4 95 per half meter. Then you've also got it in the black, which as Victoria just said, has been incorporated here. So again, those um, scalloped dots on black. And you can just see that curvy shape. Designing that must have hurt someone's eyes. Yes, I know. <laughs> Even just looking at it on the screen there starts to make your eyes go a bit cross, <laughs> doesn't it? Um, so that's the monochrome dotty scallop on black, again from Macawa, again being sold by the half metre for 4 95 Then we've got our two solids. So we've got the um, slate grey that you've incorporated here yep. and the yellow. So you can see both of those. Let's start with the grey. 
The grey on its own makes a nice contrast with the black and the white. Yeah, I, I, it's funny because monochrome, so even, even though it's black and white, I almost include grey in that yeah, it's, it's like it's in the, like it's in the sliding middle. scale of, yeah. of black and white. So that's your Spectrum Solid in slate. And that's 325, so a nice affordable solid there. And then your yellow, so adding that nice bit of cheery sunshine uh, to your quilt <laughs> with your yellow. I'm not going to stand too close to that. <laughs> too much yellow. <laughs> and that one again is 325 from Makawa that we've used for the binding and also within the quilt itself. So, as I said, you're, you can buy all of those cut to measure in um, half metre increments, but if you do want to make that whole quilt, the big scaled up version of this, so it's going to be like this, but instead, da, 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 it's going to look like this on your bed. And um, when it's all put together with those blocks, and we're showing you the assembly of some of those blocks today, um, then we've done a kit for you this morning. So you get the book. So you've got all of your instructions there. You've got everything, everything in there to make the whole quilt. Including some thread. Including some thread. Yeah, that always so helps. So we've got the book. We've got the um the batting there or the wadding um for the quilt so that's so you've got plenty in there for the whole thing then of the black dotty fabric your scalloped black fabric you've got 10 units which is five meters of that one then of the optical white which is for the backing of the quilt you've got 11 units which is five and a half meters then in the uh, monochrome dotty on white you've got four units of that so that's two meters then in your spectrum solid slate so the gray you've got five units so two and a half meters of that one and in your yellow solid you've got again 11 units so five and a half meters 20 and a half meters of fabric <laughs> which is an awful lot and also you've got your thread your book so you've got plenty there to make the whole quilt and let's just see it once more. This is what you can make with it. Here's the quilt, no, 199.95 for your full size quilt there. And Victoria today talking through how to make some of those blocks. So if there are sections that you're not sure on, or if you've been, yeah. if you got tricked out with anything, you can show us how it's done. Yes, the, the quilt itself is made from 35 blocks in total. So there's one more of one than the other, but it is actually only made from two different blocks. So we've got, Block, I think they just call them block A and block B. Yes. So this is Starry Lane block A, which is this one here, and then this is block B, which is this one here. So it is just two blocks that you've got to tackle yes. and, and then repeat. That's the yes. So once you've got repeat, it, cut and repeat, cut and repeat, cut and repeat. <laughs> um, and the instructions, excuse me, reaching across. No, not the, the instructions are quite comprehensive in that it gives you here a big long cutting list of Gosh, everything. Yeah, all of those. Yes, highlighted. from each colour, how much you need to cut, and what sizes you need to do those so that's all included all the way down the side so it's great value you're getting your backing your wadding all of the fabric and your thread and the book so for 199.95 well 20 and a half meters of fabric <laughs> you're gonna that's gonna be a big <laughs> delivery <keep> going <laughs> so imagine if you get that nice box turned up on your on your doorstep you've got a project there and um, so yeah all of your you've got you've got your optical wipe for the whole backing of the quilt and all of your wadding as well so everything in there um you know great value at 199.95 for that the whole massive quilt. <laughs> Fab. So um, what we're going to look at today is the, the, um, the making of block number A. So the star. starry, starry Lane A, which is this one here. Now, what I like to do is photocopy the page in the book. Okay. I don't like to write in books. Don't want to spoil <laughs> don't it. Don't want to spoil the book. So <laughs> just to show you, this is what I've the one here. I did. I photocopied. I photocopied the double page in the book and I just ticked off when I went along, what I've cut out, and I've sort of put this so sort construction of so you can keep track of where I am and what I'm doing. But to be honest, if you're making the whole quilt, you'll get used to it and just and go, you can then okay, well, I've done this, this time and time again. And here it is. And it gives you a nice, um, a nice uh, diagram on the next page of how you actually construct this middle block along with the, with the words on how to do that so we'll have a look at that we'll look at the, the so middle part yeah exactly so, so, so um, how to do that it, again it gives you step-by-step -step instructions and I've just printed out the little diagram in the middle very organized <laughs> otherwise you're going to be <laughs> no, absolutely yeah. patchworking the wrong piece the wrong piece and, and also well, the lovely crazy. thing about this one is once you've done done this one once 
as you say, you're just doing it several just times. Just press repeat to make, and go again. again. Exactly. Right, so starting off in the middle of this star shaped block here, you've got um, some half square triangles that have been joined together. You've got four of them that have been joined together into one larger square. Like a pinwheel. Yeah, like a pinwheel. So in order to do that, you take your two squares, cut to the appropriate size, and place those right sides together. Now, helpfully, the yellow doesn't have a right side and a wrong side, so you've just got to make sure that the white is facing downwards. Yes. And you join those two on top of each other. And then draw a line. Some people can eyeball this. Go for accuracy. <laughs> but, uh, quilting's about as being as accurate as you can be. Uh, so I'm just taking a ruler and I'm drawing a line from one diagonal point to another. Okay. And I'm using, is this an air erasable pen? Oh, it's... Let me see which one it is. If it's got, is it no, this off? one's water erasable. <laughs> <laughs> it's all rubbed off. Okay. Stick a little pin in there. Now that we have that diagonal line, we're just going to sew a quarter of an inch to either side of this line. Okay. So you've got your line in the middle. Have you seen these before? Half square I have, triangles? No, I haven't. So you're going to sew a quarter of an inch to one side. Oh, here we go. So you've got the line, we'll sew a quarter of an inch down here and then a quarter of an inch down the other side. Okay. Um, on this particular machine, there's a oh, um, something called a quarter inch foot, which is really helpful because you can line the guide up with and just follow the that line and just follow that um, but if you haven't got a quarter inch foot you can use your walking foot because that's got some nice guides on it or you can use your standard sewing machine foot um, you just need to work out where your guide is going so to you be can just, this is just the bit we're doing here at the moment on the quilt itself so you can see just creating these um this, these sort of triangle sections to create our starry lane block So, so it's 35 blocks in total on that whole quilt. Yes. So in that big bundle, you've got 20 and a half pieces of fabric is enough for that whole, that whole thing. I've not worked it out, but I wonder if you could make two sort of single sized. Yes. Or two lap sized. I imagine you probably could if it's, you know, because the batting is of a queen size bed. So I would imagine if you chopped it. You might need a bit of I mental maths going on. I don't know the of a single bed, but it probably, uh, yeah. And I guess it depends on how big you like your quilts to be, whether you like them to like sit on top I or like hang over. over. Not at the moment in this No, window. definitely oh. not. Oh. Definitely not. But it's a good time to start quilting. <laughs> ready for, well, then it'll be ready for winter, won't it? Be ready start for now, winter. You get it done through the summer. Yeah, exactly. So a quarter of an inch either side of the line that we drew. Yeah. That's just ruckling up a little bit, so I'm just trying not to get it too... Because the, the challenge with this is you're sewing on the bias and this. Ah, oh, okay, so it's resisting it a bit. Would you mind getting the iron out? Yeah, of course. For me. So I've just sewn either side of that line, and you can now we'll give that a little press. Okay. Oh, we've got Ooh, so I haven't many used this mat before. We had this one on yesterday. Yeah, this is nice. Oh. Oh, who burnt the corner? I know, we were saying at least the map served its purpose, it didn't even go through, but someone did burn. Well, it looks like it's just been put away oh, whilst the iron's... Oh, we're not plugged in. Oh, let's have a look. This might be a minute. I don't know if we can do... That's right, it only needs a little press okay. at the moment before we cut it. <laughs> I'll swap you. Got lots on the table today. Yes, sorry, I've got no, not everything with me. <laughs> I just when we came in a second ago, I was like, "Wow, this is like a lazy season." We're <laughs> going to get to that in a minute. You know, when you go to the go to a restaurant, you just spin the food around to get what you want. Some people have got them in their cupboards. You know, those really awkward yes. to reach yeah, the corners. corners. Cupboards, you yeah. just spin it round. So giving that a press. Yes, giving that a press. I'll just move that side. I might fold that in half. I'll let you do that. I'm going to yes, fold that in quite, half. It's quite large, isn't it? Large for the space. Uh, now that I've just pressed that pl flat, you can then cut along that line that you drew earlier. So don't use a pen that disappears with the heat. <laughs> you can be really no, cross. we've gone really it's super gone. quick. Although you can just go between the lines. And then you've got your two... So through that centre line, then we've got two, two pieces. pieces that we're now going to press open. And ideally, you press the lighter side towards the darker side. Why is that? Uh, just so that you don't see through, because sometimes the lighter fabrics are a little bit more translucent. Yeah. And if you've got a darker fabric on this side and you press it towards the white, you then see the line oh, of where the so seam is. Worth... So press it towards the, the darker side. So I'm just going to press those flat. OK. So while you just press that, we're going to look at this quilt. This is our Starry Lane quilt uh, from the monochrome book. 
So this is a snippet of what you could make with that whole bundle. You'd have 35 of those, so it's going to be you know, a much more scaled up version of that. And this is the Starry Lane block that um, Victoria's doing right at this moment here. And then you've also got this alternative block also. Yes, the other one's not quite so, not complicated, because this isn't necessarily complicated. There are just less steps involved. It, well, it, it even looks more straightforward, you know, in terms <laughs> of the design, doesn't it? That's yeah, there are certainly more. less pieces. Squares somehow feel easier than, than triangles, even yes. though this is a square, but... It's a square within a square. It's a square within a square. <laughs> right, so now we need to, and you've got your, this is a, I've just copied this out of the book so that you can see it. it sort of shows you a diagram in terms of how you're going to construct it. So we're doing the B section first, and I've got this one section, and I'm just doing the other section, and we're going to join them together. So we're doing that first. Okay. So just use that as a visual guide to make sure that you sew your triangles together in the right way. Ah, so otherwise, you're going to, to end up with a different effect <laughs> than you had planned. So we want all of the yellows into the. So we'll place those right sides together. Otherwise, you're not going to get that nice pinwheel effect. Just need to make sure that your seam matches up nicely. Does it matter that there's an overlap here of these? How no, it doesn't. They'll just sort of get hidden, hidden away and hidden on the underside. So that's not so bad. More than one pin. <laughs> so in that kit enough. today, if you wanted to make the whole quilt, we'll show you everything that you've got in there. So you've got 20 and a half metres of fabric. Um, you've got your yellow, your white, your grey, so your whites for the backing. Um, you've got two different um, spot on, sort of spotty scalloped fabrics on black and white. Um, you've got the book, which gives you all of the instructions that you need with how to make it. You've got the wadding and your thread. So your wadding and the backing is all included with that. It's literally everything you would need. All you need to add is a sewing machine and some skills. And a bit of time. <laughs> but yes, time. Of course, time. Let me just show you in the book where it's um, on the bed. Where's it gone? Here it is. And this is what it looks like. It's obviously a scaled up version of this. So QYGC75 is your item number four, the Starry Lane quilt kit. Everything you need to make that whole quilt. Right, so I have now attached those two together. Oh, I really oh, shouldn't have worn yellow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, hold you it. can hold that if you like. <laughs> um, a, a quarter inch throughout. Quarter inch, okay. All the way through. So I'm just going to press those seams to one side okay. and then we can attach that to the one that we've already done. Yes. Oh, you've got a, a quilter necklace quilter on today. Quilter necklace Perfect on today. today. Yes, that works. I should change it later because I'm not well, doing, doing quilting sewing. later. We'll change to a sewing one. Yeah. <laughs> or just wear the two, like a split personality. <laughs> just one. Who two. knows? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> right, so that's pressed together. Do the dosy dough again. And we'll just attach those two together. Again, just refer back to your diagram just to make sure that you're not accidentally sewing one upside down. The wrong way, the wrong way. You check could and end double up check. With a completely different effect, which is great, but not what we're trying to do for this <laughs> quilt. So if you were a beginner, would this kit how, how you know, would you say that this kit would be a good one as a first quilt? Or I wouldn't say it was good for a first quilt. There's quite a few skills and techniques to put into it. And whilst the instructions are very good, it doesn't handhold you through the process. So you, you, need, so you to need to have some, some level of skill. experience and some skill. Yes, otherwise you'll be head scratching too much. And you don't want to be disappointed if you're going no, to of course not. make your first for foray into making a big fat quilt. You, don't you, want want it to, to, you want to be proud of it. You want to be of proud of it. You, you want it to be right. So yes, I would say that you need some level of skill just to decipher it's nice, obviously, we have all different levels of skill, viewers of all different backgrounds, some beginners, some more advanced, so it's nice you've got the, the option for something a bit more, a bit more of a challenge. Yes, yeah, it is good to have something that's a challenge. An intermediate, let's call yeah, it well, an intermediate. I would do, because it is only just those two blocks. There's a bit of extra um, piecing that you do when you're making the border, which I've not done on this one, but there's, there's some extra few bits and pieces there, but it's nice sometimes to just have something that's a little bit repetitive and... Yeah. Easy going. Well, then you can you know get what the you're doing. Of it, can't you? Once you've done yeah. it, you don't have to. You can you can just go with it. Go with the flow. Go with it. Yeah, I quite like it when you can cut everything in in advance, line it all up, and you just get it ready. And yeah, then you well, can. You've got all of the fabric in that bundle. You've got everything in there. Everything you need, and you can approach it in two different ways. You can either say, right, I'm going to make all of the block A's in one go. Yes, and, and you do them. Master that one. Do them all 
the same step over and over. So you could do this central section however many times over, or you could make a block. So you could set the fabrics on one side and say, I'm going to make two blocks today, and then I'll come back and, and then do come another back and two do another one. Because then you can see it growing. Because you can start to put, assemble them as you go. Yeah. Yeah, which is quite Just exciting. how you choose to work, I guess, isn't Yeah, it? some people like to do one way and some the other. But this is just a nice, easy way of not having to... Like you say, you would have everything there to go. It's ready to... As soon as it arrives, you can go straight on with it. You haven't got to go out and dash out and think, oh, I need no, to get a thread for that, or I need to get that. a backing fabric, or... A... Yeah, it's all there. OK, great. So that's that portion done. I'm going to just go behind you and press that as well. <laughs> Read the book. Just be careful. When you're doing your half square triangles, you've got to remember that um, some of it's on the bias. Yeah. Because you've cut across to create So it does, that. does it pucker a little bit? You have to just yeah, you've just got to be careful when you're pressing, because when you're pressing, when you're quilting, the heat from the iron relaxes the fibres in the material. So if you're then pushing the iron, you are warming it up, relaxing and it. And then stretching it. And you can very easily stretch. And so with that precision that you want, if you've gone to the trouble, you know, like you said, of, of getting cutting. this out, of measuring and cutting and doing it with your rotary cutter, to then stretch it with the iron is... Yeah, um, you know, yeah. a lot of people <laughs> forget. Ideal. No, it's not ideal. So it is pressing, not ironing. That's the, Yes, that's press, the. don't iron. OK, so once you've got to this point, you then need to trim down this... Um, central section, and I can't remember what I needed to join that to. Five and a half inches, I think. Let's measure that one, because that joins to one of those. Okay, so now you need to um, trim this down in size, but you need to make sure that the design still sits centrally within the square. Yeah, so you can't sense. just go, <laughs> okay, that's this wide, and just lop a bit off this side, because no, suddenly the centre will be in the wrong place. Right in the so um, what did I say? That needs to be five and a half. So that needs to be two and a quarter. Correct. So measuring from the centre, yeah, yeah. two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Check oh no, two and three quarters. I need five and a half, two and three quarters. See, it's very early. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was when I woke up. That makes more sense. And trim off that one side. That's it. And then Just put the two and three off. quarters again on that middle line. Make sure that lines up nicely. And trim down. Are you a rotary cutter girl or a scissors girl? <laughs> I more and more I just use the rotary cutter. Um, when I'm cutting out clothing patterns, I try and do what I can with a rotary cutter, and I use both this size and a smaller rotor, rotary cutter for the little edges. Um, but I don't know. I think Sometimes it depends on the fabric. Depends on the project, I suppose, too. Yeah, on the, the fabric and the project. There okay. it is. So that's it. Ta -da. Trimmed down. Sitting in front of the black, <laughs> not the yellow. This is the um, so this is the centre of that Starry Lane block there. All trimmed and ready to go. And you can just see that. I love the yellow. Yeah, I really good. love it with the black and white. You can just see it there. If I pop these side by side, how that starts. We're going to incorporate that now into the block itself. Lovely. Okay, so what do we do next? So those are ready. Next, you attach two of these side rectangles. The rectangles on the sides are attached in two different ways. These ones on the sides are just attached like this, but the top and bottom ones have the little squares joined to ah, them. Okay. So you join these onto the rectangles and then you, once they're ready, you join those onto this. You start to see how that's going to come gradually, together. Gradually, gradually piecing together. So we'll attach these and I'll pin both of them at the same time. So I these like were cut to five and a half inches straight yes. off. Yes. And I like to, if I can, minimise the amount of time that I spend walking between sewing machine and work table or iron, just because it speeds up the process for you. So I'll just pin that one in there in a couple of places. Great. And just make sure when you're attaching one piece on top of the other, if you've got a seam allowance on the underside that's poking towards where the sewing machine is. You just need to be careful that as you sew along, that that doesn't get caught by the yes. feed dogs of the sewing so you machine. So you want to keep that in your... Yeah, um, so quite often I'll just that. stick a pin through that. I'll do 
the side. So I must just mention, we've got less than five of these bundles if you want to make the whole quilt. Um, so you've got all of your backing fabric in there, your solids, so your, your grey, your yellow, your optical white for the back, um, your two different dotty uh, scalloped fabrics, and then also the book, the wadding and the thread. We've got less than five of those kits there, but everything you need to make that whole quilt. QYGC75, less than five of those in stock now. So over 20 metres of fabric in that whole bundle. I'd love to see what that looks like when it arrives at someone's house. <laughs> what a treat. That might be one that you're quickly hiding away. I was going to say, that's really not easy that. to hide no. if you're, if you're sneaking. <laughs> Some people do. <laughs> Some people hide what gets delivered with this, if, for your stash. Oh dear. Bottom of the wardrobe's a good place. I haven't got room in my stash. <laughs> I've had to stop buying. Have you? Yeah, there's not enough hours in the day to sew with everything that you've got. I know, it's terrible. I've even got stuff that I bought to make stuff for my children. Didn't quite it's make it to the machine. Quite, didn't quite make it, and they're yeah. Some of it's a bit too young for them now because they're six and eight. So it starts to be, I suppose, set mm. fabric. So you think, oh, am I pushing that? Yeah, I think I would be, especially for the eight-year-old. She's starting to get a little more keen on what she wears. She's not fussy. too. Fu she's not too fussy, but yes, she doesn't want to be a little girl. It's anymore. amazing, isn't it? How all of a sudden you you feel like a grown-up. Oh, yeah. Even at, at eight. Yeah, like, very oh, grown-up. I want to choose my own clothes now. <laughs> it's funny because my sister and I look at. Um, when we, if we look, I love looking at old photos, and we look back at some of them, and we said, said to my mum, "What were you dressing us in?" Like, actually, my mum says, "I didn't. I let you cho choose whatever oh, you wanted to so wear." It was your own so fault. We'd, we'd be in like Wellington boots and a dress. <laughs> like, we'd have just chosen to wear that, and um, yeah, my mum gets the blame, but it's actually my sister and I's fault. Did you try and match each other? Not always. Sometimes we did. If we were on holiday, we might do matching outfits when we were little. But yeah, oh. welli wellies and a, a dress is probably not a strong look. Well, you know, it's practical though. Yes, if you're in the woods. <laughs> if you're walking in the woods. Well, you're not woods. walking in the woods? Probably not. <laughs> Just a trip to the library <laughs> <laughs> on a sounds sunny about, day. Sounds about right. <laughs> oh, right, so I'm pressing these again with the excess, the seam allowance is going towards the black. Okay. So again, oh, towards that. Again, that's. Yeah, so that's like hidden. The lights and darks. Okay. So those are the sides put on. And now we'll attach the. Other rectangles with the squares on the sides, they so go the on the tops top. and bottoms. Yep. What I need to do is I'll just show you this one. This needs the little squares on the end. So right sides together. Right sides together. Some people don't pin. I'm going to pin. So to be safe. Yeah, and it's not my machine and I'm not totally... <laughs> I know how you get used to your own. Yeah, you know how your own machine performs. It's so. like anything, isn't it? If you get in a new car, or if you if you get a um, what's it called, a courtesy car, and you're like, oh, it's not oh. all in the same place. I usually send the windscreen wipers off and then do something, yes. something else. Off you can't find where the screen, the demister yes. is for the screen. Yeah. That's the worst one when you can't see what you're doing. Okay, so again, quarter of an inch seam allowance. Goes along, and. Like I said before, if you're doing lots of blocks at once, you, I, I would have all of those stacked up in a line. Okay. So I would, or, or, and you would chain piece. And so you and would do, just keep them going through. Yeah, just keep them going through. Because it saves a little bit of thread, it saves some time. So if you were doing this, would you do all of your star blocks? Would you do all of the A's, then all of the B's, or would you be tempted to do A, B, A, B? I think I would do all of the A's then all of the B's. Because while you're in that mindset of how to do it and just... Yeah. It just that, that's how I did this one. I did the A's first and then I went back and did the B's. I don't know if there were only two of each, but that in my head worked better and I was less confused as to which rectangles went with which Yeah, because you've got part. that in your head. You've got those, that, that guide. So this is how it comes together. This is, this is a small section of the quilt. This is obviously be a much larger section for that whole quilt. But you can buy these fabrics today, um, cut to measure as well. So if you wanted to make a smaller lap quilt or... Um, you know, to use it as a, as a throw for the end of the bed, or obviously you can't really imagine in this weather, but getting ready for winter, give yourself some time to make it. You can see those different blocks. It'll make a really together. cool children's quilt as well. Yes. Because um, they say that children respond really well to monochrome. Is that and, true? Yes, and a lot of babies have black and white playbooks that you put around the cot bumper type area. What's that then, I wonder? I don't know. I think it's something to do with the way that their eyes develop. Oh. Okay. So there's a lot of baby items that are just black and white. So it's to do with how your eyes develop at certain ages. Something and how like that. Wow. So actually, this would make a really good play mat for a little one. And because as well, yellow is obviously quite a gender neutral kind of, so you could pop that yes. in any nursery. It's perfect yeah. for... I'd have been quite happy using that for my girls. Because every day when they're little, they're supposed to... Well, they used to. Supposed to spend time on their tummies. 
So you've got so, to put this out. And so you put that out in case you've got cats or dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's Best will in the world. The floor's not always perfect. And when you've got a new baby, crikey. No, you do. But super careful. Attach one of those on each side. And I'm just nesting these, these little seams as much as I can. Yeah. Are you pinning through there as well? Yes, or? I'm just pinning through. Actually, that one won't nest because it's going the wrong way. So I pressed that one accidentally the wrong direction. That's just thinking, why is that not nesting? And I've pressed it the wrong way. It's all right. It does just start to grow, doesn't it? But you, you know, you quite quickly can see that shape taking place, how that's going to come together. Yeah, I like that about mm. quilting. See it coming alive before your eyes. That's better. Because if you've got your seam allowances facing in opposite directions, they'll nest, they'll sit in with oh, each so other. You can just slot those in. It makes it less bulky. Okay, there. Let's see the quilt in the book. So if you haven't seen this morning, we've got this quilting in black and white book, um, which you can, which we're also selling separately, not just in the bundle. And um, so lots of different monochrome quilts in here. Some of them have sneaked in a little splash of colour, and um, perhaps with a, a little bit of detail in places. Um, but this particular quilt we're making this morning is Starry Lane, and this is how it looks on the bed in you know in full size so you can just see it's got that yellow incorporated into it, but with your black and white and also your slate grey. So there are less than four now of these bundles. Ooh. So Oh, exciting. Um, someone's got a nice project on their hands. We can see them in baskets as well. So if you, have, if you do want it, make sure you just check your basket out. So you're going to tackle the project. You're going to go for it. Um, just, just make sure that you check out all the way through to the end. I don't want you to miss out. And send so a picture if you've made one. Yes. Once you've made it. Please do send us a picture or on social media. Um, so this fun. is what you're getting in the bundle. You have got your, um, the book there, as I just showed you, with all of your instructions. The wadding. You've got 10 units of the black monochrome, um, black, the black spotty fabric. So five metres of that black. Your bright yellow is 11 units, so five and a half metres. Your white dotty, you're getting four units, so two metres of that one. Then your slate grey, you're getting five units, so two and a half metres. And your optical white for the backing, you're getting 11 units, so five and a half metres. And so 20 and a half metres of fabric in total there and your threads as well. Everything you need to make that quilt. Wadding thread, fabric book, off you go once you've got your delivery. Job Let's done. go, job done. <laughs> QYGC75 is your item number for that one, 199.95. See, ordering like this is a surefire way to create yourself a new unfinished project because the moment it arrives, you can, you'll just put to one side yeah. what you were doing and then start working on this. Well, we're down to three. <laughs> we're down to three of those bundles now, so it's going, it's going, going, going. Just be aware if you do want to, um, if you do want to get it, you can give the call centre a ring 0800 112 4433 or head to the uh, website and you can check out your basket there as well. Not to add any pressure, but just so you're, <laughs> you know, I don't, I hate for people to miss out. I know. I know that's that such feeling a shame. when you really want something and then you, you get through it. Okay, I haven't got any left. So who's got one so far? Can we see? Let's have a look. Oh, we can't see it at the moment, but we'll have a look. If you, once you've made it, please do um, tag us, tag us on, on Facebook, show us your picture. I'm back in next week, so if you could finish it by then, <laughs> that would be really good. <laughs> you can stay up all night and finish the quilt. I can't sew when I'm too tired. That's when mistakes happen. It's fatal at late at night. So I think anything mm. that requires concentration <laughs> late at night is... Yeah, you're right. Right, so those, I'm going back this way to the iron. Great. And I'm just going to press those, give it a quick... Press on the outside and then flip those. Oh, your fingers. Just steaming away. So obviously there's more than just that project in the book. There are actually 16 different projects um, within the black and white quilting book. Um, so we'll get that, that code up on your screen in a minute. But you've got all of your templates in there as well. There's a really lovely one with, some, um, with a little cat there. You can see a playful cat. Um, just keeping it black and white. So if you wanted to buy the book on its own, you can see that on the bottom of your screens there. It's $15.95. But if you buy the bundle, then you've got the book in there already. 
actually these have a prints would actually look really nice with the trees that are on the front cover because they've got a nice texture to them. Yes, just to add that sort of big, I think um, dots sort of give a depth, don't they really? But you can see here as well, so there's different um, sort of table mats too to incorporate those quilting skills. Where's the other one at the back I was going to show you? Oh, night and day, that's a nice one. You can just see here how those black and whites are coming together. Crazy so patch. Sophisticated, sophisticated crazy, crazy, crazy patch. patch. I don't know what makes it sophisticated, <laughs> because it's crazy and sophisticated all at once. So, yes, yeah, 16 different projects in there. Um, DUMZ19 is your item number for just the book. If you get the bundle, then you've got the book in there already. Oh, look, messy threads everywhere. Right, so that's the very central section done, which is the same as this one here. That. that goes in here. What we're going to move on to next is the side sections. You can just see this one here. Perfect. So now the sides are made up from uh, a couple of triangles and some other shapes. So um, in order to do these, I've pre-done a couple of them because I wasn't sure how much time we would get. Um, you start off 20 with... 20 minutes, about 20 minutes. It should be fine. Yeah. Okay. So we start off with a large square that it asks you to cut into four on both diagonals. And that's why I've asked for the... Lazy Susan. Um, Lazy Susan <laughs> to come That's out. I didn't accurately, uh, accurately know. Oh, just, just be aware, I've just been told to be aware if you have got that in your basket, just about, um, we are very limited with the stock of this bundle now. So I'm just going to place this on the mat. And we're cutting diagonally. I love that. <gasps> you just, just, just look, in case you missed that. Ta -da! Ta -da! It's great. Really handy. These are really good for... Um, when you're doing lots and lots of cutting, because sometimes at home I'll position myself on a corner of my table. Just to try so and I'll get do the some angle. this side, and then I'll do some this side. But actually, that removes the need to twist. That. Yeah, it's great. It's also great for when you're doing foundation paper piecing, because in foundation paper piecing, there's a lot of cutting and yeah. trimming, cutting and trimming. And to be able to have a mat that you can rotate just makes a world of difference. Okay, so we're just going to cut. Oh, so we've got a message from Carol. Um, Hi, Carol. Morning, Carol. Um, da, da, da. Please could you tell us more about the wadding? And let's have a look. I've got that behind me here. So let's just, we'll, we'll do this bit first and okay. then I'll show you the wadding in a second. I've got it on my table ready to go, Carol. Don't worry. Right, so I've <laughs> cut that one diagonal. I can then turn round the other way and cut on the other diagonal. And the nice thing about that means that you've not disturbed the fabric no, at all. It's just staying Because in place. if you didn't have... A rotating cutting mat like I say you'd either be turning round your table or you'd be turning a really big cutting mat or, or you're turning moving the, the fabric, fabric itself and if you're moving the fabric you're then spending ages faffing about trying to get so, them in exactly the right place but you can cut several layers of fabric at the same time because you're obviously doing lots of blocks so it's it's great I love time it. saver I love it <laughs> I hadn't seen it before today that's a new one for there me go and now you've got lovely Perfect. There you go. Great. So then we can start to incorporate those into this edge section. Yes, these all. go into the edges. So that's that done. Brilliant. Let me just show you this wadding then. So um, let's have a. So you can see this here. This is the wadding that you get in the bundle. So it's a, a white cotton uh, wadding. So it's really perfect for um, you know for inside or outside use. It's a lovely, really soft. Uh, sort of natural wadding and also what's lovely about this is there's no uh, you don't need to pre-wash it so you can use it for your quilting uh, straight away and also it's it's, so it's excellent as an exterior um, quilting as well because quilting sort of fabric because the wadding is really soft and it can be used on the outside um, in terms of the size that you get of this wadding so you're getting 90 inches by 108 inches which is if you want your metric you can just see that here 2.28 meters by 2.74 meters so you've got enough there to make that queen size quilt and that's a natural batting so that's in your bundle um, but it's also available separately that's on your screens at the moment um w y r w 72 for that um batting and that's 28.95 are you a batting or wadding oh uh, split personality because <laughs> i grew up in australia oh, did so you? now i can't even remember which is english and which one is american australian i'm just so confused just a bit of both. Just whatever comes out my mouth <laughs> It's very confusing. It's tomato, tomato. It's one it, phase, is, isn't it? it is. It is. People are also different. Right. So now from that square, 
you've now got your four rectangles. And to each rectangle, you're adding a piece that they've called F or FR, which is F or F in reverse. Ah, oh, right. Okay. And the book has a template, which I've just photocopied out of the book. Here, and that's it. And that's your template for cutting out from the rectangles. Again, you cut your rectangles to the size and you use this template. So you cut from one side for the F and you cut from the other side on reverse. for the reverse. So you don't have to photocopy and cut yep. two templates. Or you don't flip the template, but you flip the fabric. Either way, easy peasy. So the way I've done that is just place the template on top of the fabric. Oh, it didn't move. You need the rotating board I do. Back. I was just thinking I shouldn't have put the board <laughs> away. And then you can use your ruler or you can just... I this will. is where as well, if you're doing a lot of these, which if you're doing that whole quilt with 35 blocks, it might be worth doing your templates, you know that plastic template yes. um, sheeting that you can just cut yes. really easily, just trim it and then you can use it because cutting up against that um, yeah. paper, if you're doing it a lot, you might as well just yeah. cut it out it or, might or get thicker, cardboard. Yes, because it can, might get dogged or you might accidentally trim yeah. a little bit off each time. But you could place your ruler over the top. Okay, so there's an announcement on that bundle. An announcement? There is one left. <gasps> So this is the bundle. This is what you're going to get if you're the last person that's going to get in there and get that bundle. So we've got um, we've got two people with it in their basket. So oh someone, no. oh my gosh. And um, so there's the black and white quilting book. You've got your wadding and you've got 20 and a half metres of fabric to make that whole quilt that you can see in the book. And you've also got your thread there. And here is the quilt itself. At the back, at the back. It's got a post-it <laughs> note on it and I still flip past it. <laughs> So you can just see, we're just making a snippet of it today, but everything you need to make that quilt. One left for the Starry Lane quilt bundle, QYGC75. And please do send us a photo when you've made it. <laughs> there's more than one of you out there. Yes, there are. We know there's at least five. So, <laughs> Right, what you need to do is mark, um, attach um, two diagonal pieces to each other. And if you are new to quilting, you would almost think that you would attach them like that, but you don't. You have to overlap them so that when you, you've sewn them, they sew back and this bottom line ah, goes in, in a line. Whereas yeah, if you have to say, gone, I thought that that was how you... Yeah, if you go there and do a quarter of an inch, you'll end up with a big step. And also you've lost... And you've lost yeah. a big bunch yeah. at the top. So there's a couple of different things that you can do to help you along the way. You can place your template on the fabric and mark through, let's see if that's gone, yes, that's gone through. Make the end of the pen nice and blunt, <laughs> get myself into trouble. Stab it through, it's oh, fine. Yeah, children like to do that with <laughs> pens. You're like, no, you only need to brush the surface it's of gently. the paper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've just marked those two points for the seam, and you can also mark on your triangle where your seams are going to be. So we've had a question in, and um, um, hi Victoria, this is from Helen hi. in Derbyshire. Morning Helen. Hi there. Um, I have a question about pressing patchwork. Should we use steam or not? Um, I, if you've not pre-washed your fabrics, and that's one of those things that's a bit of a split view Again, from people, or <laughs> um, as to whether you pre-wash or not. But if you've not pre-washed, there will be, every fabric will have a certain amount of shrinkage within it. Mm. So if you're adding steam into the equation, that's making the fabric damp, and it can and it might shrink again. Shrink. So I think it, it depends on the fabric you're using and whether you've pre-washed or not. So if you have pre-washed, then I think you're okay. Safe to use yeah. steam. But I would test, yeah. just test. Cut out a piece that's four inches by four inches, give it a test and see and what see happens. If it, if it shrinks yeah, I'm, I'm all for testing to see. Well, I hope that helps, Helen. She also said thanks <sighs> for great inspiration. So. Oh, lovely. Good stuff. <laughs> okay. I'm just marking these on, on here. And then you can take your um, rectangular triangle. I'm not sure what else to call that <laughs> shape. Just stick a pin through there and through the other side that you've marked. So you've marked this so that you don't have that funny shifting when you fold it back and press it. Yes. You've just got to be careful because you've now got one piece cut on the bias here and this is cut on the bias as well so you don't want to over handle it because you'll end up with pieces that are all stretched okay 
just to be sure. Um, why are you remarking that on the fabric? Is that uh, listed in the book? Uh, no, 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 it's not. Which is why I was saying that it's not really suitable for a first-time quilt because so you need to it doesn't follow that hand hold you through. These are all tips and techniques that you pick up. So watch back. You can always watch back on YouTube as well. The yeah. shows all go um, up on there, so you can come back to today. What date are we on today? The twenty twenty first. The twenty first of June. Um, you can go back and you can watch again and, and check um, if there's sort of little elements that the Victoria's mentioned today that you might need to to recap. So now I'm going to sew all the way across. If we show you on here, we're going to sew all the way from this this little join in here, here all the way across to the other end. You're not sewing so just you're in the middle. Just in that. Yeah, you're not, you're not starting at where you've put your mark. You're still sewing them all the way along. This is more of a fiddly section, isn't it? Is the yeah, other block... Th this bit took the most time, actually, because your half-square triangles are, are pretty straightforward. These side sections are a little bit more involved. Also, I imagine once you've done it once, or a couple of times, when you're repeating, you, you, know, you know the technique. You're so. already there. And to be honest, what I did is I did one at this stage and then I took another, cut out another one of those. So I then took, I cheated, I don't know if it's cheating, but it was just my easy method of doing it. And I placed the triangle on the cutting mat with the point on one of these lines. And then I placed, placed my other oh, triangle on top and then placed that. What a great idea. Yeah. And, and match those up so that you had that as a reference and point just for doing yeah. all of the oh, others. Brilliant. I like that tip. Yeah. Anything <laughs> to save a bit of time. Why not? So we've got about 10 minutes left. Okay, that's all right. Quite all right. Give that a press and then you can join the reverse F triangle. The other triangle. side. The other side. And that one, just mark on. That last one is still there and a couple of people in their basket. Oh, I is it? If people are racing to, to, to um, put your details in, but just so you know. Just deciding. She's just going to stick a pin through that. Oh. It felt like I was being a bit rough with the pen by just <laughs> dabbing it through the hole. <laughs> felt a bit rough. So this is just the reverse. This is the reverse side. I hope it's the reverse and I've not picked up one that's exactly the same. <laughs> no, I don't think there was another one that was cut. There was uh, no, I did have oh, some pre-cut ones, one. so I'm setting myself up for failure there, aren't I? No, we're <laughs> oh, 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 quarter inch line on the triangle and just bear in mind if you do happen to be using an air erasable pen don't do too many and walk in away in one go because they won't, they won't yeah, it depend, depends on your pen and your fabric that you're using but you wouldn't want to walk away and then go oh look they're all gone yes <laughs> go for the trouble of doing all of your measurements turning this turning this doing your marking all of them and then, then coming back and and then the pen's too effective way. at erasing itself and <laughs> Like they so are clever. I mean, heat. how do they make those? I know, it is, it is really clever. And yet, it still feels so wrong to me to draw on fabric. I know that yes, you just it is do, really odd, particularly isn't it? on the right side, like to just see you there going, go, oh, just, just scribble on. Scribble on here. This one's the, the washable one, so you would just need to dab it with some water. But always test, always, always test, because I had one marking pen once, and I, my word, it wouldn't come out. I used Vanish. I used everything. Really? Was, yeah, it got to quite desperate measures, and oh, it just, no. just wouldn't come off. What was? And was it a permanent pen? No, it was a. It was a supposedly, you know, a sewing pen. And it, but it just and the fabric I was using didn't, didn't like it. <laughs> didn't like it. Oh, I was really upset. I bet. But because I didn't something, test. I put a button, add a button, or a sequin. <laughs> oh, my mum did that once. I had these. Um, tracksuit bottom trousers because you know it was the 80s um, and I really loved them and I fell and I um, ripped a hole in them and my mum said don't worry I'll put a patch on them <laughs> I must have been was about that, that eight year old age where I was going no did mom. you wear them with wellies that's the question <laughs> I should have done <laughs> it'll beat you there oh dear 
Okay, and then we'll press that one open. It's funny, isn't it, when you're younger, though, when you have clothes and you just want to wear them every single day, <laughs> but you have an outfit and you just, like, like you said about the tracksuit bottoms, you, I, I just want to wear these. Yeah, I just love them. So that gives you now one of your side sections. So you make four of those. Would you like to show the yeah, side absolutely. section? So this is, so we've got those there. So we're going to end up like this. That's it. And that's going to frame this section, that's, which we did at the beginning of the show. Yes. And again, like we attached these side rectangles, two of them you attach directly onto the central section. The other two, you have your squares oh, attached. Oh, yes, so it's just to make it bigger to fill in those corners. Yeah. So, we'll so this is going to be the same again, I imagine. Right sides together. Right sides together. And then open them up. Matching your seam allowance, your raw edges. Do both sides at once. We'll do the top and the bottom, or is it left and right? No, it is top and bottom. I'm just thinking in the pattern of which order it tells you to do it in. It doesn't really matter because it's symmetrical. While you're pinning that, let's have a look in the book. I'm just going to show you some of those other projects at the back. So you can buy the book separately today. This is a monochrome book, but there are some, it, you know, it's inspired by monochrome <laughs> colours, but then I open the page and there's also this. So some of them do incorporate some, um, some bright, bold, uh, vivid prints as well. So obviously this one is your yellow, but you've got this one in the book here um, with some pinks. In the pink. So it's incorporating black and white, as you know, the basis of your quilts. This is the one here that we're making this morning, Starry Lane. Really thorough details about popping all of that together. As Victoria said at the beginning of the show, I'm just going to find another um, some other quilt. The um, you photocopy the pages and annotate beforehand. Yes, so I can tick off when I've cut because there's a lot of cutting when you're making a larger quilt. There's an awful lot of cutting to do, and I don't like to lose track of where I'm up to. So you can so just, I just make a mark. So these are some other ones. I like this again using some yellow um, in this particular quilt here. The children's silhouette. That's a nice playful quilt. And then you've also got a lovely one there. Oh, with that one's got um, applique. Applique? Applique flowers, I think. Yes, that oh, is. Oh, yes, the one made from hexes. Yeah. That's right. And then you've got this one too My Rose of Sharon. So incorporating some florals there, but with that nice black and white background. That's per actually for a bedroom, that's lovely if you don't want to go overboard with colour. You know, if you're just introducing a splash just of colour in accessories or, you know, perhaps a lampshade and a bin. and a, With that, you can incorporate a bit of red in the quilt, but yeah, not go overboard. Can. And this one, actually, with your, it's on the front of the book, and um, it's uh, the birches, but also you've got, um, you've got a splash of red in the foot with a little bird, so I'll show you that inside. I like that one, because that yeah. feels more modern and contemporary. You can just see I it like here. It. That would look really nice as a wall hanging. Yes. Is it wall hanging size? I didn't look. I'll have a look now. The size is, let's have a look, quilt size, 53 inches by 71 inches, so smaller than... Yeah. Smaller than, Smaller than the, uh, the bed one. So we've got a picture from Karen. Morning, oh. Karen. Let's have a look what you've made. Oh, it's a monochrome quilt. Let's oh, lovely. See. Oh, wow. Fab. It that's looks really big as well. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I wonder what size is that? If that's um, it's king size. So that was a project and a half. I wonder how long that took you. I bet that was a, an investment of time, a project of love. Lovely, I love it. Wonderful. Black and white, just is, it's classic. It's timeless, isn't it? Yeah, it's not, it's really not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. It's, it's not. Um, but like we said, what's nice about this, with the um, monochrome dotty fabrics this morning, is although they're black and white, when you, there is a, and they're just, and they're polka dot, there is a shape to it, there is a design to it. I don't know if you can see in these ones here. But you've got a, um, there is a scalloped shape to it. It hurts your eyes if you look too much, so we'll just show you quickly. <laughs> but you can just see that sort of curvy shape in both of those and in your white there. Great. Okay. So you just sew those right sides together. Yes, and now I'm pressing. Just make sure that when you're sewing these, that the points of the triangles are pointing towards the middle. Yes, you don't want them out. So it's like this. And your finished one. Here. You'd be cross if you sewed them on. Yeah, you don't want them the other way around. So it's all heading towards that centre point of yes. the, um, yeah. the star. It creates a bigger star. That press, and then you attach the side 
bars, if you like. like this. One of which I've already made, where you just sew the corner blocks <laughs> onto one of those side sections. We so it's going to be the whole um, length of that side yeah. section. Yeah, so I'll attach one of those on now. Okay. Got about 30 seconds, so I don't know if you seconds. want to just... So again, you nest your seams in the corners. And you'll do the same with the other side. So I've you got the other one that. there ready to go. Well, you can carry on doing that if I you like. Will indeed. And I'll carry on here. I can just talk, talk about the fabrics. So um, the different fabrics we've had in this, this morning's hour, we had the bundle for, to make the whole quilt, but you do have the option um, to just buy the fabric separately and to, you know, to use them as you wish um, or to create a smaller, a smaller quilt or you could use them in different combinations. So let's look at the different ones we have this morning. I'll start with this white um, scalloped polka dot. So as I said, you've got that curve, you've got that um, sort of circular motion coming through in the polka dot there, which just adds some detail to the quilt. This is from Macawa, so it's been sold by the half metre. So one unit is half metre. If you wanted three metres of fabric, that would be six units. 4 95 for that one, JRMY92. Then the, the other uh, reverse colour option of that is in your black. So again, you've got those um, scalloped polka dots with the curve, just giving you that nice shape here. 100% cotton. This is the dotty scallop on black. Again, being sold by the half metre, cut to measure. BDMY68 for that one, that's 4 95 then we've got our solid, we'll do a swap, <laughs> our solid yellow, which you can see here, it's been incorporated into the, uh, the pinwheel section of that, um, of the Starry Lane quilt. So this is from Macawa, the bright yellow, 325 for that, so UZMY39, again, cut to measure. And finally, is your slate grey, which is used here. We're actually in that section that you're doing right, right this yes. moment. Yes, yep, in the corners. In the corners. No, so, not the corners. Well, in these sort of triangles yes. pointing into the centre. <laughs> Because you're because you're pressing corners, that's yes. why you said that. Um, so this is a spectrum solid in slate, QLMY48, and that's 325. So if you wanted to make this whole quilt, like Victoria's been showing us today with one of the block, we've got one bundle left. Mm -hmm. So you get everything you need to make the whole quilt. 20 and a half meters of fabric in total there, with your both your dots on black and white, your yellow, your grey. You've got your optical white. Um, for the background of the fabric. You've got all of your wadding, you've got your book and your thread, and this is what it would look like, a finished product. We can hold this one up too, can't we? So there's one left for that Starry Lane block. Yep. And this is nearly. Oh, so people will miss out, there are more in the baskets than available, so please make sure you check out. And we've nearly made nearly. it to the end of that block. Nearly block. So we would just be adding this onto the side. Yes. So thank you very much, no Victoria. Problem. You're back in an hour. I am. Um, so we're going to be doing a cross back apron, but don't go anywhere. I'll be back in three minutes with some premier fabric. See you shortly. <laughs> Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. many different ways you can buy from us here at the Sewing Quarter. You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK based call centre. Alternatively there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sewingquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products excluding custom cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step. Tune in on Thursday the 22nd of June when talented dressmaker Jennifer Taylor will be dropping in to share with us her sewing secrets. Jennifer's debut book, Girl with a Sewing Machine, is packed with tips, guides, inspiration on all things sewing. Following its successful launch last month, Jennifer returns to give Sewing Quarter viewers an exclusive look at her favourite projects from the book and plenty of advice on how to get more from your sewing machine. We'll also be giving you the chance to get your hands on a signed copy. 
So join us and the girl with the sewing machine for a fun-filled technique tuning hour on Thursday the 22nd of June at 8am. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing, work, we create and love. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. If you've just joined us, it's lovely to have you here with us at Sewing Quarter this morning. So I've got some new fabric finds in this hour. So some premier fabrics uh, that we're launching today. We've never had them on the show before. So, um, well, they're from Lewis and Irene. We've also got some fabric bundles. So that quilting project we were just looking at with Victoria, if you wanted to incorporate a different color somewhere, or if you wanted to use them for binding or backing, you can never have too many solids for your stash. So we've got three different options. Let's start with this one here. So this one is called the Lobster Fabric Bundle. That will all become apparent in a minute because we would pair this with our Lewis and Irene Lobster Fabric. So you get three half metre cuts in this. You've got this, it's a metre and a half of fabric in total for 9.45. All of these solids, just a really rich uniform colour, giving you that consistency. So you've got your, I believe this is cornflower blue. Then you've also got, you can just see here, a nice duck egg blue. Well, this one's actually called teal. Half a metre of that one. And then you've also got half a metre of your classic ivory, so just a, a cream there. But as a trio, a really lovely um, sort of collection of colours there, if I just hold those up together. And they'll go with that. This goes perfectly with the, that premier fabric I'm going to show you in a minute. I'm keeping you in suspense. It won't be long, I promise. Um, WDGC32 is your item number for that one. Then your next option, let's have a look at this one here. So this one, um, we've got a lovely peachy coral in this bundle with a grey and a cream again. So we'll start by looking at the grey. So it's quite a dark grey. This one's called charcoal. Then we've got this lovely peachy one here. This is your coral. And then we've got a sort of a buttermilk cream here. So it's, um, it's, it's, it's called a crew, is that what? Yes, a crew. So this one is, um, it's a slightly, uh, it's got more of a natural cream look to it rather than that bright ivory cream in the bundle before. So this one is called your cream feather fabric bundle because it goes with the premier feather fabric in this hour. XHGC15, 9.45. So with all of these, you're getting a metre and a half of fabric for 9.45, and it's half a metre of each. And I will just say, if you order, if you order multiple bundles, so if you ordered um, two of this, this particular bundle, they will be um, cut still, so you'd get two half metres of cream, two half metres of the coral, two half metres of the charcoal, and because they're already pre-cut, it wouldn't come to you as a metre. So the last one, Let's just pop these back nicely. I don't like it being a mess. <laughs> and then the last one you've got here is a whole family of blues. So blues and turquoises. You've got this um, lovely teal sort of blue here on the top, half a metre of this one. So you've got vintage blue, azure and your teal in this bundle. You can see that one there. 
and then underneath that lovely duck egg blue. So this one is called duck egg feather. Again, you'll see that with that Lewis and Irene fabric. And um, this is a solids bundle specifically put together for that. But again, a great one for your stash um, with that family of blues there. So that's your trio. EQGC97 is your um, item number for that. It nearly said egg. It's nearly called egg like the feather bundle is called 945 for that. So these um, solids bundles are always popular here on the show. Do people are obviously liking to add them to their stash? Um, and, well, I can get some new fabric. Let's just go for it. Let's do it. So we have got four premier fabrics. And um, just to give you some context, Lewis and Irene are a family-run business. So they've been going, it's actually named after sort of three generations back. Lewis and Irene are at the top of the, uh, well, uh, higher up in that family tree. And then now the granddaughter is, is heavily involved with the company. It's run by, it's run in Hampshire by, uh, by the family. And their, their motto is Threaded with Love. So they have a collection called Threaded with Love, which we have some fabrics for that we launched yesterday. And in this hour, we've got some brand new ones to show you so can I start with the lobster let's go for lobster yes I can start with the lobster these are so gorgeous they've got a really nautical feel to them and well perfect for bathroom accessories that's the first thing that springs to mind for me I'm going to start with this one let's open it up so you can have a look look at this so you've got a classic red lobster there, sort of a motif running through the centre of the fabric, but lovely detail in that rope and in that sort of blue ribbon twirled through that. You've got your anchors, your shells, lots of detail in that. And I love the shape around the lobster, so it's sort of creating almost um, like oval windows around them. And you've got a cream background on this one, 5.95 for half meter. So it's a good value fabric for, um, for a, a sort of a design print like that from Lewis and Irene. QLLW86. So these are all being cut to measure. So these are cut off the bolt for you. Um, they're brand new today. We've never had them on the show before. And if you haven't ordered cut to measure fabric from us before, um, as I said, we cut this off in half meter increments for you. So if you wanted um, four meters of fabric, you would order eight units and that would all come as one big eight meter piece. If you wanted two units, um, you could, that would be a meter of fabric. So it's, that's how it sort of is paired up. Um, these. These lobster, this lobster print also comes in a lovely aqua background too. So you could pair these up, you could do something reversible. Um, you could tie this in to create some sort of, you know, running theme through, through a room. But from a distance, you might not even know that was a lobster. You just get that gorgeous um, sort of shape in the, um, in sort of the curves of the lobster. But this one is the aqua lobster anchor fabric. Again, with that rope running through it. RPLW07, 5.95 for half metre. Oh, you know what? You could do beach bags with this and then you could use rope for the, um, for the handles of the bag. That would be lovely, particularly in this white one as well. You can see there how they work together as well. You know, it's the same design, but just with that different background fabric. And the aqua is picked out in detailing on both of those. So they do tie in really well. So the cream is across the bottom of your screens there, and your aqua is the main graphic RPLW07. That item code there. So 595 for both of those. Brand new fabrics. Let's see, I love this. Let's see which one goes into the lead on the, the fabric race. I think these are, these are really lovely for bathrooms. You could do um, you know, a laundry bag, you could do um, a cushion maybe for the bath, you could do um, toiletry bags. And also this, this would be nice, you could use them for a more masculine project if you wanted to create um, you know, a little toiletry bag or something to take on holiday with you. Really gorgeous. And two other Premier Fabrics, bringing you even more today. These have a, um, a bit of an autumnal feel to them actually, because um, they're, they're leaf leaf fabrics um, and they've got that lovely natural more muted colors in the background there so let's look at the duck egg to start with so you've got that duck egg color in the background let's open it out so you can see a little bit more and then it's just scattered with lovely autumnal leaves in those really sort of um, burnt orange mustardy burgundy feathers feathers that we've got here in your um, fabric so you've got that lovely detail 
also sort of if we come in really close you can see that there's actually um, a little design within all those little elements of the feather so you've got sort of little tiny brush strokes almost and and or, or little stitches that you can see within the shape of the feather itself and this one is on the duck egg blue background but both um both collections using um, similar color feathers GALW41 is your item number for the duck egg feathers fabric. All of these $5.95. And then on a cream background, this is where you can start to see when we lay them out with the solid bundles, how these tie in really well together. So here's the feathers on your cream background. So you've got, it's sort of a, um, a buttermilky color in the background there. And then you've got that nice peachy, peachy orange in your feathers. A gold color here. Feathers are very timeless. I think this is sort of very, very appropriate in terms of the colour and the print for for any age and for any design. In fact, you could make it. This would be nice for dressmaking. You could make a nice summery dress with that. J R L W sixty seven is your item number for the feathers on cream fabric. Again, hundred percent cotton. And if we just look on the selvage here, you can see all of those different colours that are within the fabric. So you've got that palette there with, it's sort of a, a, um, a coffee palette really, because you've got your darker, your lighter creams and, and latte type colours, and then you've got a darker one here, almost a mocha. And if we look at the solids bundle that we've paired with that, look at that with the selvage and the solids bundle we've paired, they, they just work perfectly. You would pick those all out for you. So the bundles across the bottom of your screens, you've got the cream, the coral, and your charcoal there. If I move that down, you can just see how they, if you wanted to perhaps make a cushion and, and add some binding to it, if you wanted to do the back of a cushion or um, the inside of a, the lining of a pocket, you could do a tote bag, you could do lots of different things with this. Just nice to have some solids there that you know are going to match, that you know the colours have been picked out perfectly for you. You haven't got to sort of add those if you've got them in your stash. So the item number for the solids bundle is QLLW86. That's, um, oh, that's the one on the bottom. That's your lobster fabric. But the one there on your screens is your feathers on cream and the solids bundle is just coming up. So then you've also got um, two other solids bundles that we've paired with the other fabrics. So we've got this blue bundle here. And this one has been paired with, let's find it, our, this is the lobster one, is it not? It must be. So we've got two, we've got the duck egg and our feathers. This one here is to go with our feathers. So you can see you've got um, that really similar duck egg colour here in your solid, but also you've got your teal and your um, vintage blue. So the bundle is these three here, half a metre of all three of these solids. And your feather fabric will be the graphic on, your, on the item code on the bottom of your screen. But it's funny when you take one fabric out, that changes it completely. But if you just went for the blue, it adds a totally different feel. That's a nice... A, a, nice bright one. I actually like it with the lighter fabric. This one here, it just lifts it. Perhaps you could use that for, um, for the binding. So your solids bundle, EQGC97, that's for these three different uh, blue solids. And then the feathers one was the one that was on the bottom of your screen. Then finally, we've got one other solids bundle. This is to go with our lobsters. I like the lobsters. Let's just turn those there. Which one's in the lead at the moment? The cream feathers is in the lead at the moment. So this is our last solids bundle. This is to go with our lobsters today. So we've got three, um, three different solids in this one as well, half a meter of each. And this goes with the blue lobsters. So let's just pop that there so you can see. Really picking out that ribbon detail, if I just move this over, um, in the sort of weaved in with that rope there, you can see that has been matched up. Then your blue there, 
picking out the detail in the anchor and in these sort of water splashes and seaweed. And then your cream as well. Producer Hannah said you could even do oven gloves, perhaps if you're, if you fancy yourself as quite a chef and you're making lobster often, these are perfect if you're doing uh, lots of, lots of um, different fishy dishes. <laughs> so the one, this one here is your um, Lewis and Irene Aqua Fabric. This is the lobster one, um, RPLW07. Bathroom blinds would look gorgeous in this. In fact, I'm going to open it out so you can see a bit more. Let me open it all the way out. So this is a metre of fabric. This would be two units. But you can see how from a distance, you can't even necessarily spot that they're lobsters. But as you come in closer, you can start to see that there is more in that design. Just lots of detail. And a really, um, and lovely to have the option of incorporating rope for that nautical feel. For a bathroom blind, perhaps you could add rope for the, um, for the pull. The, um, what do you call that? Like the, the toggle. So then there's also the lobster fabric in white. Let's have a look at that one. Okay, and this is your white option. So it's the same print, but in a, um, on a different background color. So again, you've got those lovely stereo like motif lobsters in your stereotypical red. And then you've got your rope and your intertwined ribbon. Really gorgeous. This is um, the cream lobsters and fabric, lo lobster and anchor fabric. Um, and this is 5.95 again. Oh, look at this detail as well on the selvage. I don't know if you can see here. These colors have been popped on in, in little um, boys. Obviously it's really appropriate to the nautical theme. Well, I just love that attention to detail. Threaded with love is the Lewis and Irene um, motto. And, and you can just see with little, little things like that where you've got the detail, it's really lovely that they've gone to the trouble of, you know, let's, let's add, add a, little, a little bit extra and go for something like that. So you can team this one with the bundle as well, um, the lobster bundle, again with your um, blue, your uh, teal and your cream. Let's just see those two together. If we just turn these around, you can see. So those are our four premier fabrics in this hour, the two lobsters and our two feathers. But also yesterday, if you didn't catch it, we um, launched some other Lewis and Irene fabrics. So they premiered yesterday, so they're still extremely new and um, still very, uh, very exciting. So we've got three different options for these. And these are actually from, what, what are we limited on? Oh, because these were on yesterday, we are limited on, um, on stock with some of these. So um, if you do like them, it's just one that you need to add to your basket. So this one here is from the Threaded With Love collection. So not only inspired by haberdashery, so you've got those, I know all of you sewing, sewing fans that are tuning in. So to start with, this one is my favorite. This is, um, you've got scissors and pins on your pins and needles fabric here on a lovely gray background. It's a soft gray. I'm going to open it out a little bit so you can see a bit more. It's like a pinwheel they've created with the pins. And from a distance, they almost look like a floral. But as you come in, you can see that detail. And with, with the glass heads on the pins, they've added splashes of color with your lobster and your, um, sort of corally color there. And also your uh, magenta and your greens. And then that scissor detail. Perhaps if you're making things for your workroom, um, a storage caddy, a, a hanging caddy for the back of the door, a sewing, a sewing machine cover. Maybe you're recovering a stool for your sewing room or you want to add some cushions. It would be perfect for a gift for a friend as well, perhaps if they love sewing. This wouldn't be an obvious choice for patchwork, but this might also be nice just for something a bit different. If perhaps if you're making a wall hanging out of um, a patchwork, this would be a really lovely way to incorporate some sewing motifs. DULW96. This one is my favorite of the three that we launched yesterday. 
So the other two that we had are the, the same prints but on different background fabrics, so similar to the lobsters, um, but one is gold and one is cream. So I'm going to start with the cream one here, and this is cotton reels. So it's quite a playful take on a cotton reel. Um, if we just turn this over. So you can see here you've got it in duck egg blue, you've got it in a nice fuchsia pink, and you've also got some um, sort of patches here like cross hatching detail where they've, they've sewn on a patch like Victoria said in the last hour when her mum sewed a patch on her tracksuit bottoms and also you've got um, stitch detail here too these are 100% cotton they're really soft fabrics this is the threads on cream Again, just really lending themselves to those workroom projects. Or perhaps if you, um, you wanted to make a bag for a sewing class, a carry mat bag, or um, just a general bag to take you know, on the go with you to workshops or to classes or exhibitions, this is a really nice way you could create little storage caddies. And you could even do you know, a reversible bag, or you could do the outside in your pins and needles, and then you could have cotton reels peeping through in, in the pockets. So they work really well as a collection. In fact, let me just show you um, how these colors all do tie in together because you've got those greys and the, um, the colours on the pins bringing out the colours in the reels there. So the threads on cream is also 5.95, cut to measure. So it's 5.95 per half metre for this one here on your screens now. RQLW16. Producer Hannah likes that one. <laughs> She's sounding happy. Then we've also got the um, threads, the cotton reels on gold. So this is a slightly different um, option, giving you more of a um, sort of a neutral, uh, neutral feel. And then you've got the splash of colour with all those reels, so they're still there to, to add some eye-catching colour. So you've got those magenta um, reels, your avocado greens, your greys. Actually... This would work really well with your um, feather bundle. If you can just see those corals being picked out here and your creams and charcoals. And also if we bring in this one, you can see how they work together. So the bundle on the bottom of your screens is this one here. So you've got this trio with your charcoal, peach and cream. And that is to go with the um, cream feather fabric, but would also work really well with that cotton reels on gold. Let's just have a look once more at that cotton reels. If we come in really closely, you can see as well um, that it's just a really, there's some nice detail here on all of the, um, the different bobbins and spools. And if you wanted to pair those together, again, they've got that detail on the selvage. This time they've done all of their colours in hearts. I'll just show you that there. So you can see that, um, that colour range in, these, in the fabrics. And then those two together as a pair, if you wanted to, to mix and match or pick and mix, So let's show the cream cotton reels with that lobster bundle. I just think those colours, although they, that, not intentionally, that just catches my eye as being one that works really well together. You can, you can just see those colours coming through here, that picking out here in your peach, your charcoal, and also obviously your cream there. And the cream feather bundle XHGC15 for this trio here, 945 for a metre and a half of fabric in total. So which fabric's in the lead at the moment? Feathers on cream, I'm being told is ridiculously popular. I'm not quite sure what constitutes ridiculously popular, but let's have a look at that one. So this is a brand new fabric we've never had on the show before. Um, send me a message. Please come onto the website, head to the watch page, message the studio. What are you making with this feathers fabric? Let's have a look at it. I'm going to open it out so you can see a little bit more. It's brand new. We've not even got anything to show you made up with this yet. None of our designers have got their hands on it. And I'm pretty sure someone is going to, um, going to be requesting to make a project using this fabric. So this is the feathers on cream. You can just see there if we look at the detail that has gone into all of those feathers in different colours with your peaches and mustards. And I just love the different dots and stripes that have gone into those too. 
So I'm holding a metre of fabric here, which is two units. Lots of people multi-buying, so perhaps with a, with a slightly larger project in mind. But 5.95 per half metre, JRLW67. In fact, this would be beautiful for, for a cushion if you were going to have a feather cushion. Um, how lovely to have the outside of the cushion or a quilt even, you could use this for the backing. Or you could even use it for the border of a quilt. So many options. So that's a meter there of your Lewis and Irene feathers on cream. What are you making? What have you, what have you got in mind for that? So really lovely. And just also the, the background fabric of this is a really lovely natural colour. Um, almost sort of a, um, like a, a buttermilky cream. So it's just, it's, it's a nice neutral and then adding some splashes of colour in the feathers themselves. So we've also got the feather option in um, duck egg blue. So let's just show you that. It's closely behind. So they do work well together actually. If I hold them up like that as a pair, you can see obviously you've got the, the matching feathers um, that run through both in terms of the theme of that. Well, let's have a look at the duck egg. Again, I think this, this totally lends itself um, to more masculine projects as well with your feathers here and with that duck egg blue in the background. Do you know what? I could imagine John Scott in a shirt made of a fabric like this. I could totally see that. <laughs> Possibly the white one, the, uh, the cream one, more than the duck egg blue. But this is your duck egg feathers, brand new on the show today. We've never seen it before. And that one again is 5.95 per half metre. So we've also got a bundle, some solids bundles to pair with these. So the duck egg fabric bundle, which is this one here, this is a solids bundle and this one is nearly out of stock. So if you want this one, just make sure you check out your baskets. This is the trio here of blues. So you've got um, a nice teal, a lighter um, vintage blue and also a turquoise or duck egg. So you can just see that trio there. Let me open them out a little bit more so you can see them together. So the bundle is going across the bottom, half a metre, half a metre, half a metre. EQGC97 is your code for that. And I wonder, let's have a look, if this bundle might go with needles and threads as well. Yes, it does, where well, you've got some blues coming through in that. So these blues picking out the stitch marks in the back of this um, cotton reels on cream. But this, is this the most popular solids bundle? This one here is our most popular solids bundle in this hour, nearly sold out of that. And this is the threads on cream, half a meter of that, 5.95, RQLW16 for that one. I apologize if you can hear some, um, some noise. I think there must be some builders next to the studio. They've suddenly started doing some hammering, which is very noisy, it made our camera shake. So someone's just gone to have a look at that. I do apologize if you're hearing lots of noise. So um, we've, I've shown you the two feathers. The cream feathers is in the lead and the duck egg feathers is just behind. What's next in the lead in our race, producer Hannah? What's next after our feathers? Oh, needles and threads. So this is our pins and needles, where you've got your um, lovely pins sort of arranged in a, um, in a pinwheel shape. So um, creating like a nice circle there and also your scissors with threads coming through in the handles. So you've got that. And this one working really beautifully with that lobster solids bundle. So we can't, they're just saying they, well, I do apologize, they can't actually use the overhead camera because that banging's making the camera shake. We don't want to make you feel giddy at home. So we're, we are getting that sorted. And um, so you've got a charcoal in the back here. Then you've got your peach and your cream and all of those picking out the pinheads on that wheel there. So let's just hold that up so you can see. Really beautiful um, trio to go with your pins and needles. This one is my favorite, DULW96. 
This launched on yesterday's show, so it's only been here at Sewing Quarter for, well, probably not even 24 hours yet. No designers have got their hands on it, but there will inevitably be some projects coming up using these patterns and these fabrics. Gorgeous, so you can just see those there. The fabric bundle is the cream feather fabric bundle, XHGC15, and that's 9.45 for this trio here. Beautiful. So, that's that one. Let's have a look at our lobsters again. Lobsters are brand new today. Never had these on the show before. So we've got it on a white background and again, a nice aqua background too. So two different color options and all of your colors listed on the selvage and lovely little boys. So um, Lewis and Irene going to lots of, lots, of, um, lots of attention to detail as they add some different motifs to their fabrics. So the aqua is the most popular of the two lobsters. Perfect. If you've got a beach hut, this is absolutely, you've got to make some cushions out of these for your beach hut. So maybe some beach chair cushions or, um, or if you're anything like that, you can make bunting. This would be lovely for bunting too for a beach hut or for a, for a party. Perhaps a wedding. If you're having lobster, it's a posh wedding. RBLW07, that's the um, lobster and anchor fabric on aqua. Maybe you've previously had a nautical bundle and you want to tie that in. And just as well with that natural rope, which is really, really lovely. You could add that um, if you were using this to make a bag, you could use rope for handles or you could use it for um, sort of some edging just to add some detail. So that is the lobster and anchor fabric on aqua. And let's look at the option on white as well. So if you want that, um, that crisper, fresher background, there's the option there to have it on white, but with the same motifs, you've got the rope, you've got the ribbon, you've got the lobsters, and you've got those lovely anchors as well. QLLW86 for this one. Let's make those little lobsters having a little dance. <laughs> 5.95 per half metre. Oh, that one. So feathers and lobsters launched today, brand new on the show. And we've also got those cotton reels and the pins and needles that launched yesterday. So I want to show you a book that we're using in the next hour, um, just as a little taster of what we've got coming up. But this is a really, really lovely book. It's filled with projects. What I love about this is you've got, you've got a lot of story in this book. So this is actually um, a memoir. The author had a really difficult time in her life um, where she, she actually lost her job, her corporate job in the city, and she, she was really not in a great place in her life. She was diagnosed with chronic illness. Um, she was suffering from depression, and she, she didn't really know how she was going to, to carry on. And she, what happened during that time is she rediscovered sewing, and she rediscovered her passion for sewing, and she actually attributes it to lifting her from that depression depression and now she's able to make sewing she's made a career out of it and so if anything she's actually grateful um, for that time and for for enabling sewing to to to, to escape it's, it's escapism so this book you've got lots of projects in here but also you're getting a really truthful and an honest memoir of her of her story and how she's used sewing which is really lovely and I'm just going to show you that here at the beginning so this is her personal experience. I'm sure there are probably lots of people who would say that sewing has helped them, perhaps at any point in their life, but particularly at difficult times, it giving you that, that escape and that just, you know, that opportunity to, to remove yourself from real life for a bit and to just, you know, to, to breathe out and to lose yourself in, in the flow of a project. So this is, I'm going to read the first line. It says, it wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that sewing saved my life and altered it forever. That's a pretty big claim and I'm ready to back it up. And that's exactly what she does in this book. So as we go through, you get to actually, you know, in terms of the book itself, you're getting some story at the beginning here. Then we move into different, at the beginning of the book, she uses the four different seasons and just shows you some, some the photos of the projects, but also she talks to you about how they inspired her. So you don't get the instructions at this point in the book, all of those are listed at the back. So here, what's actually, the lovely thing about that is you can just read this 
and see what takes your, what catches your eye, what takes your fancy. So I've marked a few projects that I particularly wanted to show you. This one here. This is the crossback apron that we're making in the next hour with Victoria. So this is for, um, you can make this in adults and children's sizes. We're going to do a children's one in the next hour, but you can just see that there. But also, um, the author, with her daughter, she made a vow that for a year she was going to make every single item of clothing that her daughter was going to wear. So she set herself the challenge, and it says here it was so far-fetched to sew all of Coco's clothes for one year, but the most logical starting point seemed like a simple dress. So there's a lovely dress here, um, which is just a really simple design, and that would look absolutely gorgeous in this cream feather fabric with that light, flowy, feminine feel to it. Or for children, it would even look gorgeous in your lobsters, the white lobsters. Let's have a look at that. Imagine that in the um, dress. Really lovely. Or you could do some little dungarees or something out of that. And also another, um, another project that I picked out in here. I love my post-it notes there. <laughs> So this here is a really cute, um, it's not just dressmaking in here, there's loads of other projects for house, um, for around the house, but I loved this um, baby kimono top and bloomers. I thought they were absolutely adorable. All hanging there on that washing line. This might look lovely actually in your lobsters on aqua, if I just grab that one there. It's quite a cute uh, sort of colours for, for a baby. For the beach, why not? And then some other, um, there are lots of different projects in this book. So you've got um, different zip pouches, you've got um, an infinity scarf, you've got um, a bucket, sort of a storage bucket, you've got, let me show you some. So you can actually see what's in here. So lovely photography. And then once she's shown you all of the projects, then we get to the instructions. So as we go through here, talking you through step-by-step -step guide for all of those projects that are photographed in the front of the book. It's a really thick book as well. Um, also, I noticed that there's a whole section here on sashiko. So talking you through the technique for that and the different stitches. So you could incorporate here you can see the different stitches there. But all of, these, all of these instructions are so thorough. All these diagrams, step-by-step -step guide all the way through, to, through all of that. And it really is a very thorough explanation of those steps, you can see. And then, oh, you can see the author there. I feel like it's important because that's a, she's, um, it's a really sort of personal story. And it's called Sewing Happiness. So it's a year of projects for living well, moving through um, spring, summer, autumn, winter, different projects for those things. And I do think the, um, the feather fabric really lends itself to some of those projects where you've got that light feel to it. And this book, this book let me see how many pages are in this book. It is a, one of the thickest books I've, I've had on the show. Um, let's see. 227 pages. So we're going to look back at this book in the next hour, but I just wanted to give you a taster before we make that apron with Victoria. UMMZ40. And also just because it lends itself to some of those fabrics that we've had in this hour, particularly these feather fabrics. So let's have a look at the feathers on cream. Is it still the most popular? It is. It is. Half the stock of this feather fabric has already gone. So this is a launch today. Let's open this up. And we had a large quantity of, we had lots of stock of this today. Obviously we've never had it before, so we've got lots of it in, um, anticipated that you might like it, but this, uh, over half the stock has already gone of this. So this is your Feathers on Cream from Lewis and Irene. And they're, they're a family run business and they are really about, um, you know, creating timeless fabrics. Lovely detail on the feathers there. JRLW67. And 5.95 for half metre. Lots of people multi-buying this. Going for a couple of metres. And then we also have the cream feather bundle to go with that. 
which is here. So there are three solids in this bundle, half a metre of each of these fabrics, so a metre and a half in total. So you've got the cream, obviously, to match with the background of the fabric itself. Then underneath that, you've got a peachy colour. This one's called coral. And then you've got your charcoal grey there as well. Let me move that here so you can see. So all of those, just tying in, if we lay them across here, you can just see how they work with that feather fabric. So that bundle is um, on the bottom of your screen and the feather fabric is on the side. Those three... Half the stock of that feather fabric has already gone. If it's in your basket, just make sure you check it out. Brand new one today. So also at Sewing Quarter, we only charge one um, lot of postage and packaging per day. So it's capped at midnight. It's 2 95 And regardless of what you order, even if it's a really heavy sewing machine, um, you'll still only be charged that amount. And you'll only be charged once. So if you perhaps bought something in an earlier show this morning, the needle threader, um, or perhaps you see something later on that you like, you won't be charged again for postage and packaging. Just one lot of PMP. And the needle threader, if you missed it this morning, we showed it, oh, we're attached to a needle there. We showed it earlier this morning. Um, Irene Colesby came on yesterday with this. She's bought this over from um, Italy over 20 years ago. So she obviously still passionately believes in the project, product. It's really popular at all of the exhibitions. We had it on yesterday. We had a bit of a problem on the website um, with people placing orders. So it was extremely popular. Um, because we had some issues at our end and a couple of people um, missed out, it is available today for you. The Infila needle threader, you simply lay your thread through here, you push the slider across and it pushes the thread through your needle there. And you've got the option for two different thicknesses, so you can, um, Irene was even doing it yesterday with wool and with um, metallic threads, invisible threads. And you can also do double threading, you can put three threads through a needle if you're doing cross stitch. So you can watch back the show on YouTube yesterday from the 20th of June. But we had so many emails yesterday, we just wanted to give you the option to buy that again today. Um, but lots of people buying it yesterday and also emailing in and saying, you know, I've had it for years or I, a friend told me about this and I didn't know where I could get hold of it. And here it is, um, $5.95, that's the Infila needle threader. So, pins and needles fabric. This is my favourite. This one is... Yes, it's the second most popular. So this one launched yesterday. Um, this is the, was brand new from Lewis and Irene here at Sewing Quarter on yesterday's show. This is the Pins and Needles fabric on grey. So it's a lovely soft grey background with your pins all arranged here in a um, sort of a pinwheel formation, giving you that almost like a firework effect there. And then your scissors too. These fabrics lending themselves to lovely accessories, perhaps for a sewing room, a sewing bag, a storage caddy, a hanging caddy for the back of your door, a chair cover, a sewing machine mat or a cover. There's just so many options. Obviously, with those haberdashery and notions um, in the fabric, you know, within the design, it's really lovely to incorporate that into something that you're going to use for sewing. So that one is 5.95 per half meter. DULW96 is your item number for pins and needles on grey. Then we also had the cotton reels, which launched yesterday. Launched, let's get my words out. So this is cotton reels on cream. I'm going to lay these all together so you can see that you can mix and match these if you wanted to. So this one has got lots of um, different shaped spools, bobbins, cotton reels um, on the fabric in nice, bright, bold colors. But they do work well together. You've got these similar colors coming through across those two fabrics. So that's half a metre, 5.95. And there's also the option to have the threads on gold. You can see when you lay them all together how they are from one collection and how they, they have been put together with an overall feel in mind. That one there on your screens is the um, threads on, well this is threads on cream, this one here is threads on gold which is on the bottom of your screen. But the cotton reels with it, you know, with a, they're, they're similar colour, well, they're the same colours across the two fabrics. So you could pick and mix those. 
once you're making a wall organizer and you want to you know use this for the for the front then you could pop all your um all your bobbins and threads in the front of it or a, a, like a storage bucket or caddy or um or a little zip round case or a jewelry a little pouch there are so many options i could go on and on with um ideas for for different fabrics so, or maybe you don't want to make something for a friend, you know they're into sewing, you could, you could give them, you know, it's a really, that's a really personal present to say, if you know someone's into sewing, you could buy them the fabric and then you could allow them to, to decide what they want to make with it. But perhaps if it's something they wouldn't buy themselves, um, I just think that's a really thoughtful present. So this is your cream, this is your gold, and this is your pins and needles on grey here. So three different options that we launched yesterday on the show. All of those are 5 95 per half metre. So there's no difference in price. It just depends which one you like. And I'll cut to measure fabrics. I don't know if I have a box here, um, but they're sent to you um, in a really lovely sewing quarter box, almost like a little, a little present um, from us to you. And they're wrapped in tissue paper with a little sticker on them. So when we cut them off the bolt, we're getting a box. Oh, we've got a box here. Thank you very much, Liam. Um, so this is the box you can just see there. And that's, that's like a little present, which is lovely. It's here, it's arrived, We've got, you've got your order. And then inside there, that's it. You've got your tissue paper and there's a little sewing quarter sticker hiding there. Plus, if you're buying multiple um, units of that fabric today, if you've never bought anything from Sewing Quarter before and you spend over 9.95 on that first order, then we send you one of these, a sewing quarter sewing kit. So this is a little present from us to you to say thank you for um, thank you for placing an order, thank you for getting involved. And this is worth £14.95. It's a great one to take on the go with you. And inside, lots of little bits and pieces that you can use. We've used some of the things our designers are, are pinching them. So we've got nine, um, no, 12 different threads in there, all different colours. You've got your, you'd also get a tape measure in here, but that's obviously been... Um, been used, some safety pins, you've got buttons, scissors, a seam unpicker, and also, oh, we've lost a button, and then also some needles there. So this is lovely to take to, um, to classes or to pop in your handbag, perhaps if you're taking a project on the go with you. What we were saying as well is it's like so many hundreds and hundreds, well, thousands of these have gone out to, um, to customers. And we were saying what would be lovely is if people are in a class or they're at an exhibition and they get their sewing, you're part of the club, you've all got the same little sewing kit, which is really lovely. So, these um, bundles that we started with, we had some solids bundles this morning to team with these designer fabrics from Lewis and Irene. One of them's actually sold out, and so if you've got that one, well done. Um, but there are two other options. So people sometimes are buying these on their own, they're not necessarily pairing them with the fabrics. You might just be adding it to your sash, obviously it's totally up to you. So this is the cream bundle that we teamed with the feathers fabric, but as I said, you're not limited to that. So let's look at this bundle to start with. You get half a metre of this cream fabric here. Then you've got half a metre of your coral. This one's a crew, this one's coral. And then you've got half a metre of your charcoal as well. Just, just being told to be aware of your baskets on this bundle. This is also a very popular one this morning. Um, so the stock is, one of the bundles was already sold out. The stock on this one is slightly limited. So um, this bundle is XHGC15 if you want to give the call centre a ring. Or you can, um, you can obviously add it to your basket on the website. So if you were to buy um, two of these bundles, just so you're aware, the, the patterned fabrics, so all of these cotton reels and feathers and lobsters, these are, they're cut to measure. So if you order those, you can, if you ordered two metres, you'd get two whole metres of fabric, you know, that's all still together in one piece. With the bundles that we put together, these are pre-cut. So you get half a metre of each of these, and if you multi-bought um, those bundles, you would still get, you'd get two half metres of charcoal. So they would be separate cuts. You'd get two half metres of coral, two of a crew. So just, so just so you're aware, they wouldn't be um, in one big metre piece. They would already be, they'd be cut into two sections. So then we've also got the other solid bundle, um, which we've teamed with our lobsters. So this one here, you've got your ivory to start with, half a metre of that. Then you've got half a metre here of your lovely teal. 
just a consistency of colour, a nice uniform solid. And then your cornflower blue as well, so adding in something a little bit brighter there. Again, 9.45 for that one. WDGC32. And let's look how that looks with the lobsters that we've paired that with. So this is our lobsters here, if I put this in next to it. Let's move these out of the way. So this is the aqua lobsters. And you can see there with that, um, particularly with the teal in the ribbon, really picking that out. The cornflower blue picking out the anchor and the water splashes. And also your ivory there picking out your um, shell detail. Lobsters on aqua are the most popular out of the lobsters, but there's also an option for lobsters on white. So you can see that they're teaming with the bundle too. Or lobsters on, lobsters on cream. So this is quite a light cream. That's probably why I prefer to it as a white. Um, so you get ivory in your bundle with that. And then obviously you've got your teal and your cornflower blue. But you don't have to use all the bundle at once. If we just looked at that one there with that, you can see how that's picking out some detail here. Or if we bring the cream in, the cream actually warms it up. The, cre the cream works really well with the aqua, but it, it does bring some, you know, if you, if, rather than pairing that with a white, the cream is just warming that a bit, which is quite nice. So lobsters on aqua is the most popular, but also the option for lobsters on cream. And then you've got the bundle there, three solids, cornflower blue, teal and ivory. And that's 9.45. So feathers on cream, is it still, is ridiculously in the lead. Well over half the stock of this one has gone. So this was a, a launch on today's show, a brand new fabric. Let's have a look at this one again. Let, I'm going to open it out again. So this is a meter I've got here. This is two units, lots of people multi-buying, um, so perhaps they are going for a bigger project. But you've got lovely detail on your feathers there. We don't have anything else like this. It's very different to a lot of the fabrics we have here at Sewing Quarter. Inevitably, there'll be some projects popping up in these, um, in these fabrics in the not-too-distant future. But I think this would be lovely for dressmaking as well, perhaps a skirt or, or a dress. With, it's got a lovely summery feel to it with those feathers just floating down in the breeze. <laughs> JRLW67, well over half the stock of that one has gone. And we had so much stock, I can't tell you of that um, Lewis and Irene fabric this morning because it was brand new. And we, we anticipated that it would, be, it would be a popular one. So if it's in your basket, just make sure you check it out. Pins and needles, also half the stock of that one has gone, which I just showed you. So that's on the grey background with your coloured pins and scissors. Um, so DULW96 for your pins. I was just going to show you there's also the option for feathers on a duck egg blue. So I think this, um, this is really lovely for more masculine projects. That's your pins here that you can see. And this is your feathers on duck egg blue. So again, you've got those, um, this, the same shades as the feathers on cream but obviously a different background colour, which gives it a very different feel. Lovely burnt oranges and mustards there in the feathers, and also some lighter, sort of softer blues and khaki greens. GALW41 is your item number for that one. And again, that's 5.95 per half metre. That cream is storming out in front. It's really, it's right at the front of the race at the moment um, in our new fabrics this morning. So then we also had our lobsters. Let's look at those. So we've got two lobster options, one on aqua and one on white. I'll show you the white one to start with. It's, it's called cream. I keep calling it white because it, it, I, it's a very white cream. Um, let's have a look here. So we was, it's a lovely nautical feel to this with your anchors. Also, you've got that rope intertwined through it and your ribbon as well. I think this would be perfect for a beach bag. You could use some roping for, um, for the handles of the bag or for a toiletry bag or for something for the bathroom, a bathroom accessory. Perhaps a laundry bag. And with those happy lobsters <laughs> in different directions on the fabric. QLLW86 is the 
cream lobster and anchor fabric. And then if I just pop next to it is the lobsters and anchors on aqua. Let's open that one out. But they do work really well together as well. As a duo, you could pair those, you could have something reversible. You can obviously see that lobster um, popping up in both. This one here is your aqua. Just some lovely twisting here, all creating nice curvy shapes around the different lobsters here. Oh, some people are having an issue with ordering on the web this morning. So if that's the case, the number on the screens below, just give the call centre a ring. It's a UK based call centre and um, they'll be happy to help. So just give them a ring on 0800 112 4433. Um, even if you don't have the item number, you can describe what it is and they'll help you figure it out. So if you apologise if you're having any um, problems with the website, just give them a ring. So you've got your cream and you've got your aqua lobsters this morning. Both of those brand new. We haven't had those on the show before. I reckon we'll have some bathroom themed accessories coming through in coming weeks in some of these fabrics. RPLW07 is for your aqua one here. Again, 5.95 per half meter. And if you were watching yesterday, you may have seen um, Irene showing the, the automatic needle threader. Again, some people had some issues ordering that and we had lots of emails, people, um, it was incredibly popular, lots of people wanting to order it. So we've had that back on the show um, again today. It's really simple to use. Um, you just simply pop your needle into this little hole at the top and then you thread your thread through the groove. You push the slider across and it threads your needle for you. You can just see there where that slider comes through. And this side you can use for, um, for slightly thicker threads. But really popular. We weren't meant to have this back today, but we wanted to bring it back um, in case you had any problems ordering that yesterday. ZBZI91. And at the side, there's a little storage um, compartment here for your needles. And you get full instructions with that as well. You can pop that in there. 595. And the great thing about that too is that you can use it with different um, needles with different eyes. So with for an oval or a round eye, it works for both, which is quite unique. A lot of needle threaders don't offer both options. So we've had a lovely um, launch of those Lewis and Irene fabrics in this hour. The feathers on cream is still ridiculously far out in front. This is the winner, um, if, if there was one, in the, in the show today. So here it is on cream with those lovely feathers, but then we also had it on your aqua. We had your lobsters on um, cream and your lobsters on aqua as well. And we brought back those cotton reel fabrics on golden cream and the pins and needles on grey as well. JRLW67 for our most popular fabric in this hour, 5.95 per half metre for our lovely feathers. So in the next hour, Victoria is here back with myself. We're making a lovely apron, which I'm going to go and put on now. So don't go anywhere. We're using the Sewing for Happiness book and we'll see you in three minutes. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for the Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Take your quilting skills to the next level with a little help from patchwork prodigy Lucy Brennan. Join us on Friday the 23rd of June when Lucy will show us how to make a stunning sunshine quilt block. Armed with the ultimate quilt block collection bookazine, compiled by the experts behind Love Patchwork and Quilting magazine, Lucy will guide us step by step through this traditional technique and, what's more, she'll suggest some beautifully matching fabrics to help you achieve project perfection the easy way. So, join us for this Quilt Block Showcase, Friday the 23rd of June at 8am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Tune in on Thursday the 22nd of June when talented dressmaker Jennifer Taylor will be dropping in to share with us her sewing secrets. Jennifer's debut book, Girl with a Sewing Machine, is packed with tips, guides, inspiration on all things sewing. Following a successful launch last month, Jennifer returns to give Sewing Quarter viewers an exclusive look at her favourite projects from the book and plenty of advice on how to get more from your sewing machine. We'll also be giving you the chance to get your hands on a signed copy. So join us and the girl with the sewing machine for a fun-filled technique tuning hour on Thursday the 22nd of June at 8am. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts.
There are many ways you can watch Sewing Quarter. We are live every day on Freeview Channel 78 and online at sewingquarter.com from 8 a.m. till 12 noon. But if you've missed a show, don't worry. There are two easy ways to catch up. The first is through our website, www.sewingquarter.com, where we repeat that morning's shows throughout the day. On the homepage, you'll see our video stream. Click on the video to hear sound and see a list of the products that we have shown in that day's shows. The second way to catch up is on our YouTube channel. All our shows are kept on YouTube, so if you buy a product and want to see the demonstration again, you can. Go to www.youtube.com forward slash sewing quarter where you'll find all our shows listed by date. Select your preferred date, then using the description beneath the video, jump to the hour you want to watch. Then you can pause, rewind, play and skip your way to the bits that you want to watch again. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Welcome back to our last hour here at Sewing Quarter this morning, midweek masterpieces. So I'm joined by Victoria Pete again, and well, I'm modeling the uh, crossback apron that we're making in this hour. So it's just a really lovely apron with a nice big pocket at the front. So perfect for the kitchen or the garden. You've got a nice cross on the back here, if I move so you can see. Sort of a, a crisscrossy back there too, which is nice. So this is what, that's what we're making this morning in this hour. And we've got six different fabric options um, for, that, for that apron that have a really lovely feel. And they're from the homegrown range from Makawa. So they really do lend themselves to, um, to kitchens and gardens um, because of the theme of the, of the different things through the fabrics. So let's have a look, first of all, at vegetables on cream, which is what I've got on right now. So this one here, this is where you're seeing lots of your um, allotment vegetables. So you've got your peppers, your aubergines, your radishes, your carrots, but really lovely for, um, for kitchen projects, perhaps for oven gloves, all this lovely apron that we're making today. Or perhaps if you've got an allotment or you're into your gardening, you can make a kneeling cushion. This would be lovely for that. And it's only been on once before this fabric. That was also with me a couple of weeks ago. So this is the homegrown vegetables on cream fabric. And we have this in two colour options today. YSMY69, and that's 595 per half metre. So again, this is a cut to measure fabric. It will be cut for you uh, depending on how much or little you need. For the apron, for an adult apron, we say it's two metres of fabric. For the children's apron, it's a metre and a half, just to give you an idea. Then we've also got the homegrown vegetables on hessian so this is the color this isn't the the referring to the type of fabric it's still a cotton and um, but the background color here is a slightly darker fabric so perhaps if you are going to use it in the garden you might want to go for a darker option um, in case it gets a little bit a little bit grubby <laughs> if, you're, if you're doing some planting and you know you, you might get some soil or anything on it you could go for a darker color so that's the homegrown vegetables on Hessian. Again, with those iconic allotment vegetables there. And a lovely splash of colour in your peppers and aubergines and radishes. JCMY90 for that one. Then we've got some other options. So I'm going to start, first of all, with our chickens. So we, this one will be, again, lovely for the kitchen. Um, you've got it in two colour options, gold or blue. I'm going to start with this lovely, um, lovely teal. So you can see here, you've just got, it's, it's keeping it white and blue, but adding that splash of colour um, on the chicken with the red. You could make um, lots of different things with these fabrics. You could make a little cosy for, um, for eggs, you know, if you keep them on the side in the kitchen, that would be so cute. DMMY19, that's your chickens on blue. This homegrown collection from Macau was really popular last time it was on the show. Just offering something, just a slightly different feel to those, um, those fabrics that we just had in the last hour. But perfect for your kitchen. And then this one here is your chickens on gold. So it's a really lovely background colour here. And what's nice about these is they've almost got a linear texture background, like cross hatching in the background of that. So you do get some texture there, rather than it just being chickens, chickens on a, um, a solid background. But again, your white and your red, 
and then that yellow background fabric too. It's a really lovely golden yellow. JKMY23, again, 5 95 for a half metre of your yellow chickens. So that's perhaps the more traditional uh, chicken, chicken feel. And then if you wanted to team that with the blue, you could, you could mix and match. So we've also got two other ones in this collection. Let's just move those to the side. So this one is chickens and eggs. So I'm not sure which came first this morning. The chickens came first, but the chicken or the egg. So again, this comes in two different options on a blue background and a, a natural background. So we'll start with the blue. These are really lovely, um, very sort of cute little chicks on this with your eggs as well. Speckled eggs with your duck egg blue. And again, that linear um, sort of look to the background fabric with your cross hatching lines. Homegrown chicks and eggs on blue. Again, this one's cut to measure, so half metre um, half meter increments, and you've got it in two colourways. So 5 95 for that one. And then you've also got it on your... This is a, a very natural background, um, background colour. And I think, this, to me, these fabrics are absolutely perfect. They scream farmhouse kitchen. You know those traditional... Um, traditional farmhouse kitchens, this is, these are perfect for that, but this is it on yellow, so you've got your chicks and your eggs again. It's a very muted yellow, it's, it's more of a, to me this is more of sort of a natural um, sort of linen uh, colour, more than a yellow. And you can mix and match these, I'm just going to show you, if you put the chickens because they're both, they're both being, de being described as on yellow, but they have much more um, natural golden feel to them. And they do work really well together as well. If you wanted to pair those up, you can just see them creating a, um, a running theme with your chickens. Your chicks are growing into your chickens there. So, uh, if you've just tuned in and you're wondering what I'm wearing, I've got the apron on that we're making in this hour with Victoria. So I'm going to head over to the other side and we're going to get cracking on our crossback apron. So you're back. Yeah. <laughs> we're ready to go. I should have made an apron for myself Yeah, as we should well, have had one each. We could have been a duo with our, one. with our little aprons this morning. Um, so you went for the, um, the vegetables. Yes. You think in yeah. garden? Or you garden think in ki or kitchen? Or kitchen from one to the other. You can go nice, between the two. It? it is lovely. And yeah. I, I like that it's got a nice big pocket. Yeah, well, you can, you've got a choice with the pocket. You can either leave it as one large pocket or you could... Separate. Separate it. Yeah, With an extra line to. of stitching if you wanted to stick a tool in or a... Mixing. Anything you want. <laughs> a whisk. Spoon or anything. Anything. <laughs> just anything. <laughs> anything you like. And then that yeah. detail on the back, if I turn around, yeah. you can just explain. There's the... Yeah, so the, the, sh the straps come over your shoulders and go across to the other side, so you can just pop it over. So there's no ties to do up around your waist. It's just nice. It's a nice open back, over. so it's it's yeah. not tight, is it? No, at all? It's not I mean, tight this is the this is the small size, isn't it? And you've yes. still got there's lots of room of in here, so it's it's nice and it's nothing. You don't want it too clingy. It's just easy to put on, and it just goes straight over your head. Yeah, it just pops on. Easy peasy. Perfect. So, so what we're doing today is I'm actually showing you a child size. So the book that you were talking about in the previous hour, you got the um, pattern from here. Yes, that came from that book, and this is the adult one. But they also give instructions for a child size. Here you go. I've got it on. Okay. Yeah. So this book here is a Sewing Happiness book, which I um, referenced in the previous hour. So a lovely story, sort of telling the author's story of um, how sewing sort of got her through a very difficult period in her life when she'd lost her job, um, and how it, how it made her happy again. And there's that apron there that we're making in this hour. So you've got the children's option and also the um, adult one there. So all of the instructions are in here too, if we just flip through. Yeah, the instructions are at the back. So the, um, the format of this book is that you have um, the story and the uh, picture for every project and then at the back all of the instructions are listed. So, so we've got the instructions here, I think I've put that tab yes. in for the adult one. And all your measurements. It's got all the measurements for a small, medium and large and step-by-step -step instructions with photographs and then it goes on to the ch children's size and they range from a extra small, which is age two to three. Oh, well, really to small. a large, which is up to an eight to ten. Oh, perfect. So, so it covers all children. Great. And, and it's, it's not, a nice... It's not, you go for, an, for a smaller adult, if you know, for a yeah. teenager, you just do a smaller yeah, adult you could, one. Uh, yeah, that would be perfectly fine for a teenager. Yeah. But the nice thing about this design is it's 
gender neutral, if you like. Absolutely. There's no frilly bits or flounces no. or no. anything. And you could so. add that if you wanted to. Yeah. But the actual, the, the general shape of the apron and everything, you know, it's also this is great for arts and crafts for yes. children. If yeah. you want an apron for getting getting a bit mucky, yeah. then um, then it's a good option. Yes, it is. And because it's just a pop over their head, it's easy for them to put on themselves. Yeah, they haven't got to ask you to oh, tie Mom, it up. can you tie this up? Yeah, no, so that's, that's very true. That's great from that point of view. So it's a metre and a half of fabric for the children's apron, and for the adult apron, it's two metres, regardless of what size you make. Oh, the adult older one, the on the larger sizes, you'll need more fabric. Okay. For the larger sizes. Okay, so two metres for the small. For the small. Which is this one. Yep. So it's quite but roomy. It's that small. No, <laughs> quite roomy. <laughs> So, um, as you can see on the design of the apron, you've got a main larger portion, which is at the bottom, and yeah. then you've got a strip across the top here. To rent. That's fine. <laughs> I'll I can let you it. demonstrate the it. top section. <laughs> uh, so, that top section um, and the bottom one, they're actually attached together using a French seam. Okay. Have you done a French seam I before? I haven't. I haven't done a French seam before. I can learn that this morning. A French seam is where the raw edges of the seam are enclosed. So, when it's you construct hidden away. The seam. So, it's hidden away. So, there's no using pinking shears or an overlocker or an overedge stitch or anything. It all encloses inside. Great. Okay. So, we're working with the chickens on blue, which is the one on the bottom of your screens at the moment. And the fabric that I'm wearing is the Homegrown Vegetables on Grey, so YSMY69. Oh, we've had a message about that fabric. I've just made a gardening um, apron and Neela in that fabric. It must have been from last time oh, you were Oh, wonderful. And she's, over, she's thrilled with it. What, what, who was that from, Hannah? From Diane. Oh, she used eau de coat on it. What a great oh, yes. idea. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, but I thought, oh, well, I won't shout across the studio. But And garden Neil is such a great yeah, idea. Yeah, absolutely. And if you use yeah. it, obviously it's, a bit, it's waterproof, but you can wipe it down. It and makes it more durable, doesn't it? And the nice thing about the eau de coat is that it doesn't make the fabric too stiff. Yes. It's still got some still body got to, to it. Move so actually, if you were using this as a, a kitchen apron, you could eau de coat the front of it. Yes, and, it's, and you're still going to have yeah, that movement. Nice so it's for Diane's um, sister-in-law's 70th birthday. Oh, so how nice. What a, lo what a lovely idea. Fab present. Lovely. Thanks for your message, Diane. That's a great... Lovely. Send us a picture if you haven't already given it to her. Oh, yeah, that's the problem when you give things. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't got it to send us. No. OK, so the difference with um, doing a French seam is you start... Normally, you start off with right sides together okay. when you sew two pieces of fabric. Like with our quilt. Like with the quilting. nine o'clock. But this way, you do wrong sides together. Right. Which sound, feels very counterintuitive, but that's... But it is right. It's the, the correct way to do it. Have you purposely chosen red pins to pick out the chickens? No, but they go really <laughs> well, don't they? <laughs> they do match. We had yellow pins with the yellow quilt, and then... <laughs> I should have changed my jumper as well, see if I could blend in with <laughs> this project. One. That would have been a disaster. I'm just going to pin all the way along. OK. Ooh. Just regular pins. Yes, just regular pins. And some people just wing it and don't do any pins at all, or they like to use sewing clips. So it's, up it's to you. entirely up to you how you want to do it. So I just okay. need to make sure that I'm on the right stitch. I'll turn off number one. And um, we just need to sew along with. Oh, that doesn't help, does it? Whether it's the foot falls <laughs> off the machine. We're on. Great. So we're going to sew together and we're going to start off with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Okay. Find the foot. <laughs> and a little reverse stitch. I'm going to sew down the length. Remember to remove your pins as you go. Okay, so and your we're pins. wrong sides together on this wrong one. Wrong sides together. working with this fabric oh it's a really nice fabric it's really nice and smooth it's got a nice close weave it's, and it presses really nicely um, nice crisp although finish. today I think do we have some best press yes, today we on do. The show? yes even though it presses really nicely a best press is lovely when you're coming to sew some of this um, the hems on a later stage. So this is the best press. Oh, that you're and there about. it is, <laughs> hiding behind <laughs> the sewing <laughs> machine. So um, this is Mary Ellen's best press. So you can use this um, to add that really lovely, like you said, crisp finish to the end. So particularly, you were yeah. saying on hems and things like that. Yeah. You can use it for that. This one here is a lavender spray, so it's got a scent, um, so leaving that lovely, leaving that lovely scent once you've used it. We have a couple of other options on the website. There is a scent-free option as well. Um, 
but this is the lavender one we're using on today's show. The scent free is the a, one that I've used before, so I'm looking forward looking to using forward the, to lavender the lavender one. one. And it's 170 millilitres also because it's not an aerosol can obviously it's environmentally friendly and you can see um, how much you've got left which is good so you know when you're getting to the end there's some starch in there too so giving you that nice crisp finish just with your pump spray on the top so that's 4.95 it's nice because it doesn't leave that residue it's not when you use traditional starch well, you get that sort of white, powdery yeah, horridness you don't get that. this is it well it's a clear starch so you're not left with anything on there um it just you sort of well spray it straight on and off we go yeah Right, we give this a bit of quick press and then I'm going to trim that seam allowance down. So um, this looks quite big for a children's apron, but because it's one, it goes, it goes all, all the way around. Way around. So that's, yeah. that's why, isn't it? I guess. That's nice. Keep them nice and clean. Because it's not always just the front portion of what you're wearing that needs protecting, is no. it? No. No, not at all. And when you wipe your hands. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Like, you do feel different in an apron. Like, you feel... I, I, I like wearing an apron. You just feel like you're, you're doing... You're, I don't know. Busy. Official. You feel, uh, yeah, official, that's mm -hmm. the word. You yeah. feel um, purposeful. Yeah, like, like you're you know. achieving something. Yeah, I always think if you open the front door and you've got an apron on, it's like you're in the, mid you're in the middle of something. You're, that's good. You're hard at work. Not just sitting watching TV, no, you mean? No, of course not. Not just sitting watching us. <laughs> it's terrible, the amount of times that I turn this programme on and end up achieving nothing. Because <laughs> I just it's keep addictive. watching. Do you not think sometimes when I'm watching Natasha or John and you think, oh, I just, want, I just want to watch them this morning for half an hour. I know this guest is on. And then an hour, Before you know two it. hours later, I'm like, oh, gosh, I've watched three whole projects. Oh, dear. Nothing right. wrong with that. <laughs> so I've pressed that flat and then I've just trimmed that seam allowance. What we're going to do now is we're going to pull back and press so that the seam where we've sewn is sits on the very edge of the fold okay like this so i'm just going to give that a bit of a press along here so the spray the best press spray is on the bottom of your screens at the moment and that sewing happiness book where you've got all of the instructions for this apron um is ummz40 and that's the it's a really it's a memoir the author's memoir really of how sewing completely helped her escape and escapism from a really difficult time in her life and i'm sure lots of people can relate to yeah it's a really great way of switching off as long as you're not doing anything too complex yeah. well but even if you are it's yeah. you're still switching off from your you know your everyday worries really aren't yeah. you yeah yeah it's good escapism there have been a lot of articles in the press recently about how good crafting mm. is is for you and be that knitting or yeah coloring anything it, with yeah. all of that mindful obviously mindfulness is quite a buzzword at the moment but all of that about being present and doing something that keeps you in the moment and it is yeah. a, a great and, way to escape and you've got something at the end of it something that you can be proud of to say actually i've made that yeah that was me <laughs> that was me i've done that just take your time seam on the edge try and be as neat as I can <laughs> whilst trying to do so you're just sort of rolling that as you yeah I'm just trying to coerce it onto the edge so this is the chickens on blue and um, that Victoria is working with at the moment and there is also the option and um, to have that on your yellow as well and there were the little chickens with the eggs I noticed when you held up the yellow chickens yes with the chicken and the eggs how nicely they, they go together. together and i thought actually this top band would look yes, really nice the top band them. and the pocket together pop, yeah that's that's a great idea you oh, could use, a good you idea <laughs> you could use this you have this top section yep. where you've got that seam more that we're doing now and then you could use and, and like you said the pocket as well you could just add another color. Be nice or you could just do the straps in the pocket but you could add in the interest with the two yes. different fabrics so perhaps yeah do your main body in you're two metres in one and then just add half a metre for some extra bits. Yep, works well. OK, this next seam, I'm running the edge, the pressed edge that I've just done along the edge of the presser foot and I'm sewing all the way down and then that will enclose that stitching Within that it. we've just That's done. That's how we're hiding it. Yeah, so we're hiding it in there. So just using the edge of the foot as a guide. To yes, it. and it would depend on your sewing machine and the width of your foot as to exactly what you use yeah. as a guide. But I'll just use the edge of the foot for today. So, 
See, this is where you're really glad that I'm not doing the extra large adult. <laughs> because we'll we'll just be, be sewing and yeah. sewing and sewing. <laughs> Age two to three works well. Oh. It is because it's that whole wraparound. We're not creating a front and a back that we've no. then got to attach. It's just that whole body of the, of the apron. OK, so we'll now press that seam allowance down towards the main body of the apron. So, so impressed, so impressed. That's the... Yes, theme spend a there. lot of time at the iron yes. when you're sewing. And it makes such a big difference. Would you use this at this point? Um, would you or not? No, I'm going to use it when I do the hems on the edges and the bottom. OK. It's not so bad for this bit here. People asking about the fabric, we will go and look at that fabric in just a moment. Don't panic, I'm, we'll go over there in just a minute. I just want to let Victoria carry on with her seam. I'll get to this bit and then you can go for a wander. <laughs> Should wear a step counter on those yes, days when you're going between one, one and the other. I've got I don't oh, think yeah. I've got it on. <laughs> I don't use one because I figure I, I'm too busy to shoehorn any extra walking into my day. I but do. You, it's, it is incredible how when you have it on, I have to say, you are a lot more conscious of, or you think, oh, I'll walk or I'll take the stairs or it does make you make different, different choices. Different decisions. Yeah. So if you're sewing, have your machine at that over end there, and your, your iron. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> See how to exercise and sew at the same time. <laughs> OK. We'll just so just on the spot while you're doing your sewing. <laughs> Uh, right, so I've got that seam, and now what's nice to do is you could leave it like that, but as you can see, well, you can't really see on here because this thread matches so well, is I've just done on the next line down here, I've just stitched in place this French seam. Just so here. that's it. There you can just see it. Very so neat. from this side, um, this is what the French seam looks like. You've got, that's the seam from the top side. And then the underside, you can see how, and I've not trimmed my threads, but you can see how the edges are completely enclosed. It's giving quite, a, it's just a very professional, slick It's a lovely finish. finish. Yeah. Really nice finish. And then I'm just going to edge stitch, well, not edge stitch, but top stitch that in place. And here I'm using a guide on my foot, but you could use a blind hem foot and move your needle over to the left-hand side. Oh, okay, just or you might have a specific foot for that but as long as you're make sure that you're going through and actually catching that French seam on the underside that's the main thing so we're going to sort of encapsulate that within this top stitch oh it helps if you get underneath the feed dogs no it's not happy doesn't want to play doesn't want to play let's try again try again So this fabric that, um, the apron that I'm wearing is the um, vegetables on cream and there's also there's a hessian option which I'll show you in a minute but that's the one on your screens at the moment YSMY69 um, 595 per half meter this is your vegetables one and then your book there with all of your instructions for the apron too there we go what's happened it's, I had no play. idea but I gave it a good shove and it's, it's off. like the computer just press reboot and then just go, go again <laughs> refresh reboot Alt, control, delete. That's the yes. <laughs> I do that one a fair amount. <laughs> one of my mum friends pick, at school pick up the other day, she arrived and her hands were completely covered in ink and she'd be having printer problems. Oh, what and, an attempted to tackle it. Oh, and she just said, you know what, I just turned it off and I'll switch it back on when I go home. And, and that sometimes is sometimes the job, the job isn't it? Well, uh, so often, I've, if, you, if you ring like a helpline or whatever, if you have problems with the internet, and they say, oh, just turn it off and turn it on again. And I think I'm sure I could have done that I myself. I could have done that. But, well, you see, the problem with sewing machines quite often is easily resolved by just unthreading and rethreading. Yeah. Because something may Something's have jumped just, out of place or yard. you've not been concentrating when you thread it. So often, that's the problem with your sewing machine. OK. So now we have a top section. That's oh, lovely. A really slick finish on that. It makes a difference, doesn't it? It just adds yeah. a detail. Rather than it being a flat, flat, completely nothing there, it just yeah. gives you that a sort of nice edge. shape. And, and edge. what you could do is you could choose a contrast thread. So you could pick up the red in the chicken's crest yeah. and use a nice red top stitch. And just pull, highlight that with a different, with a different colour thread. Mm. Very nice. That's a nice thing to do as well. I'm going to quickly look at those other fabrics sure. and then we'll pop back. What are we going to be doing? What, what's the next We're going to do the straps next. 
Okay, so if you prepped, we've got us. I've done one. I've done one, then we'll show you how to do the other. Yes. Okay. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Right, so um, those different fabrics that we've got, um, so we've got six different options. This is the, only the second time we've had them on the show, and these are homegrown from Macawa. So the, the most popular one is the one I'm wearing. So this is the uh, vegetables one on this apron. On this apron here, you can just see it in real life, um, but this is the fabric itself. I'll open it out so you can see a bit more. So perfect for the garden. We had Diane message in this morning and say that she made, um, she odor coated a, a garden a kneeling pad and also, um, also a, an apron. So this here has got all of your allotment vegetables on it on a cream fabric background with red and red peppers and Wendy. your orange carrots and purple aubergines and. Odor coating is a really lovely idea for these sorts of projects because if you are going to incorporate it into a, a garden or kitchen project where it might get, you know, a little bit grubby um, and you want to be able to wipe it down, then that's it's, it's a fab idea. Thank you to Diane, one of our viewers who, who suggested that today. So YSMY69, that's this fabric here, 595 per half metre. Then the next most popular is the... Oh, we're going to go just in order. So this is the um, vegetables on Hessian. Uh, just to reiterate, this isn't a Hessian fabric. It's still a cotton, but Hessian is the name of the, the colour of the fabric. So it's the same print, but on a different colour background, just a darker option. Um, you could have a his and her apron. You could have one darker, one lighter. Um, so you've got, again, all of those different vegetables there and just the, the cross-hatching detail in the background on that... Um, I'm not sure how you would describe that background colour. It's almost a very, very soft, um, sort of muted khaki green. GCMY90 is your item number for that one. Again, 5.95 per half metre. Then your next most pop well, the next the next fabric is um, the blue chickens, which is the one that Victoria is using in, in the apron that we're making for children at the moment. So this is your chickens on blue. You've got that white detail um, with the you know on the design of the chicken itself, and then some red highlights picked out on the um, on the chicken's head. So DMMY19 is the homegrown chickens on blue. Again, this is half metre increments. And that lovely linear texture in the background of that fabric. Very country kitchen feel. And also got the option now for this chickens on um, yellow. I, I would call it gold. So yeah, and chickens on gold. Um, this make, makes it more expensive, but it is actually a much more golden colour. And you've got that lovely linear texture in the background, the cross hatching, um, giving you that, you know, some, something a little bit more. Let's hold this one up, actually. Let's have a look. Let's see how those chickens are all scattered over the fabric. So this is a metre. This would be two units. You can just see here. Very farmhouse kitchen. Can make some nice oven gloves. JKMY23. Or the lining of a, of a hamper or a basket. So a basket to pop your eggs in. But yeah, perfect for a hamper for the garden. If you've got some picnics coming up with this gorgeous weather we're having. So that's the homegrown chickens on yellow. All of these are from Macawa. I cannot believe producer Hannah has just said in my ear, she was saying, you can make curtains for the chickens. <laughs> and then she said, hang on, chickens don't have curtains. No, they don't have curtains, Hannah. You didn't get away with that. I'm going to... She said, Hannah said she thinks she's going a bit doolally. Chicken run. It's like, like she's, she needs to escape the chicken run. <laughs> No curtains for our chickens, but we could certainly line a basket and put some eggs in there um, or also, you know, lots of different farmhouse kitchen options with these fabrics. Then you've also got your chicks and eggs. So this one, you've got some lovely little mottled detail on the shells of the eggs and then the chicks too. I'll start with the blue one, as that seems to be the running theme. So again, you've got that um, soft, it's a, it's a nice soft um, turquoise in the background of this fabric, a duck egg blue. 
And as Victoria was saying, there's nothing to stop you. You could combine these fabrics in the apron. So you could add the pocket detail and the straps in one fabric and the main body of the apron in another. And they do work really well together, all being from that homegrown collection from Makawa. QGMY17 is your item number for this one. And that's 595, again, per half metre. Every single one of these, 5.95 per half metre this morning, so no confusion to be had there on the price of the fabrics. And your other option is the... This, <laughs> she's on one now. Producer Hannah said this is excellent. The next one we've got... I, lots of egg puns. You can send them in. I do love, love a pun. Then we've got our chicks and eggs on yellow. So we've got this one here, again, with our um, speckled shells and our chicks. She's not yoking. <laughs> So you've got that background fabric there um, with the lovely golden cross hatching. LPMY30 is your item number for that. And let me just show you those two together. As we were saying, if you wanted to mix and match the apron. So this pocket detail that we've got on the front here, you can just have a look. It's a nice big pocket on the front of the apron. So you could combine these two fabrics or you could combine the two chickens or the two vegetables and you could pop the pocket on in a different um, contrasting fabric. So let me turn this, let's get it the right way around, Amy. Come on. <laughs> That's like that. So it would be, you could just see how those would work together. And because the chicks and the eggs are the same, it's just a really lovely match. So the yellow is on the bottom of your screens and the blue is the um, QGMY17 on the side. And again, if you did the same with the chickens, you could combine those. Let's just show you those as a pair. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Let's do it like that. So you've got your gold chickens and your blue chickens. If you wanted to mix and match those with your straps on the apron. DMMY19 is the blue chickens. And that nice rich golden yellow one on the bottom there, JKMY23. And finally, if you wanted to mix and match the vegetables, I'm just going to show you that option too. So we've got the homegrown vegetables on cream and on hessian. and I've got the cream one on at the moment. But if you wanted to pair those, they go together like this. So you just add that pocket detail there. So the Hessian one there is the one on top and the cream on the bottom. Perfect. So just those different options there for the apron or for any garden or, or home project. Um, just some nice playful prints from Macawa. And we're, you, in terms of the apron, the pattern itself and all of the instructions are from this Sewing Happiness book. Um, talking about there's a whole story and memoir in the whole first section of this book talking about how sewing really helped the author to come through a difficult time in her life when she lost her corporate job in the city and rediscovering sewing helping her to escape and and to to move forward really with her life but lots of different projects so you've got this all this story at the beginning which is really nice and then you look at the different projects here so you've got a zip pouch you've got these lovely baby bloomers a heating pad, all different and sort of toiletry kits and that's a really cool idea, a fortune cookie advent calendar, very different. But you could make those for weddings as well and pop little um, bits inside. But they're divided into, um, into seasons, so you've got a starter dress there, a nice floral crown, some unusual projects, a camera strap, so things that you might not have thought of before. A nice DIY sketchbook and a journal cover as well. You can perhaps make a gardening journal with your um, with your veg pads if you want to plan something that you've got going on in the garden. You want, you know, you're, if you're planning your designs or what you've got to plant and when, and you're scheduling all of that, you can make a notebook cover with the vegetables fabric. In fact, maybe you've got some left over. And in the um, back of the book, really thorough instructions and diagrams talking you through all of those different projects with your um, your measurements, your cutting guides, and what materials you need. Just a really comprehensive holding your hand through all of that and templates too. 
So sewing happiness, UMMZ40. Does sewing make you happy? Let us know. Um, that's 19.95 for that book. Let's head back over to Victoria and carry on with this apron. So where did we get straps. to? Straps. Yes. Straps are next. So I've done one strap. The children's apron's made slightly different to the adult apron. And to be okay. honest, you could make the adult apron in the same way as this one is. So these straps for this one aren't attached at both ends. Right. They're only attached at the front. Do you want to show it on the back here? Would it make sense yeah. to do it like so that? So they come round on the back. And what we'll do at the final step is create a buttonhole. If you just turn a little <laughs> bit. That's it. Um, we'll create a buttonhole in here and we'll thread through the strap and tie it in a knot. Great. Okay. So and what you but can, you could do that for the adult one as you well. You could absolutely do that one for the adult one. And what would be nice, actually, and she suggests that in the book, is to make the straps really long so you could tie a knot and then you've got a long and bit Something trailing. hanging down. If you, yeah. just if you make up. a slightly more girly one, that would be yeah. really pretty. Well, also, what's nice about that is then you've got the ability to adjust how high it you is. Could. If you could. You know, if you don't want it really, you know, up, up round your neck, you could pull it, you have it lower or depending. Yeah. It gives you a bit of flexibility. Yeah. And if you're making a child's apron, children grow so quickly. Absolutely. It makes it last a little Make bit longer. Make the body of the apron a little bit bigger, I guess, and then you can just adjust, you know, yeah, you're as you going to get along. some a long, longevity out of it. Yes. So we're doing these right sides together. So with a sew this almost like a tube. We'll do effectively three sides of a tube. Okay. Do your children like the kit? Do they they're into cooking? They, not really. Well, sort of, but only sort of, and that's my fault because I'm not very good at cooking. <laughs> so you're not steering them in that <laughs> No, I'm not really. They do like it, and um, my youngest, Emily, she likes crafting and making and Does doing. She? They've just done a castle project at school, and she knew in her mind what exactly she wanted. what she was going to make, and she there was no changing. I said, well, why don't you add this or add this? It it's amazing, isn't it, that even from such a young age, you have some, you can have that inbuilt sort of. Yeah, she knew exactly what she was looking for. Focus, she got that. She, it was, it was absolute focus, bless her little heart. Did it turn out well? It did turn out exactly as she wanted it oh, to. Oh, that's But so she lovely. got a little bit upset because everyone else had these big, vast, fancy castles. And she was, oh, mummy, there's a better than mine. And I said, you know what, yours is exactly how you wanted it. And I was really proud of her for that. Oh, and stick to what, stick to what you want to do. Exactly. Have to be. So I'm just showing, sewing, put my teeth in, sewing across one short edge, and then I'm going to pivot and sew all the way down the raw edge, quarter okay. of an inch. Cut these pleats. So we're just making these straps here, like this one. This is your chickens on blue. <laughs> Pull it out. Stop. So you stitch, oh no, you leave one end, we're going to leave... Yes, yeah, so we're just leaving one end, because that one end will get um, enclosed in the very top of the apron, so that gets enclosed... At the back? Up, no, oh, up the here. Front. Up the top. Oh, yes. No, oh, nearly there. Just run it along. Roughly how long would you, would you say this project um, would take? I always get caught out on this, but I think this time the adult one took me about two and a half, three hours. Okay. From so it's start to, to for an afternoon or, you know... Yeah, you... a nice afternoon, a rainy day, which we yeah. haven't got very many no, of at the moment. No, we can't moan about. <laughs> no, we really can't. I'm just going to press those flat first. I always think it gives a nicer finish if you press the stitches flat first. And then I'm going to trim off this little corner. On here, okay. We'll just make it turn through a bit nicer. Oh, do we have our? I can't remember what the poking device is loop called. Loop turner. No, not the loop no. turner. The knitting needle, pokey thing. Um, I don't know if we do. It you was know? here early. Yes, here we go. Oh, it's in the basket. Da -da. <laughs> just turn that through to the right side. And but would you say this is a beginner project? You could. Um, yeah, some of it's a little bit tricky, and you might get put off by the fact that it's got a French seam. Yeah. But the instructions take you through it. And well, we've just seen you do it as well, so you could just copy yeah, it's, what you just Yeah, it's not done. that difficult to do. And it's all straight line stitching. You've got to take your time with your pressing, make sure that you press really nicely. But there's no rush. No, just take your time. If it takes you five hours, it doesn't, doesn't matter, does it? No, it really doesn't. And if you're anything like me, you're trying to do four jobs at once. Yeah, <laughs> do a little bit of that, and then back to that. And then yeah, <laughs> exactly. When you're doing your projects for the show, do you 
do you manage to sit down and do it in one or do you have to in one go or do you have to go between no it goes between life yeah life yeah. and sewing yeah i try and squeeze it in around school and, and children and after school clubs and dog walking yes <laughs> all those things of all those things but in a way does it make you I suppose it makes you make time for something that you might not otherwise at this point in your life have made the time for. Yes, I like to just compartmentalise life a, li yeah. a little bit to make sure that you get to do the things that you love to do. Otherwise, the drudgery of life tends just to take well, over, doesn't well, it? Not just that, but life goes so it just goes, you know. know. Well, you know, another year's gone. And How you've are not we done... in June? I know. End of June. I'm sure Christmas just happened. I can't even bear to think that we're over half, nearly well, coming up to halfway through I the know. year. It's my husband's birthday tomorrow. Oh. And my, my youngest, the one I was just talking about with the castle, her birthday's Emily, at the end of December. Yes, yes, well remembered. <laughs> um, her birthday's at the end of December, and she's already planning her birthday. Of course, not a castle. Shouldn't have it in a castle. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? I said, I can't think of that, Emily. There's too much else Six going on in life. Six months to go between now and then. It's a long time. I know, we'll be on to Christmas before we know it. It's crazy. Don't, don't. No, I know. Don't. It is crazy. But today's the longest day, isn't it? In the, but then, does that mean we start getting... No. Sh no, sh we're not going to say no, that. I'm not going to concentrate on that. Didn't happen. I do love the light evenings. I, oh, so do I. The mornings. I mean, we were up very early. I was up at five o'clock this morning yeah. and but it's so when it's light it makes such a difference it does. So, you know i feel like i meant to be up whereas yes in, in the winter it feels like oh, when it's still dark when you get here then you know yeah. oh, i'm not sure right. if this is right no it doesn't no. feel right i'm going as fast as i can I don't promise. worry it's fine just it's pulling problem. through difficulty being is that it's closed on one end so you can't just whiz it through but the two fabrics you can see at the moment, so the one that um, Victoria is working with is the Chickens on Blue. Um, so that's, the mo that's actually the most popular in this hour this morning. So that's this one here that you can just see. You can see a tiny bit, let me just move this. Oh yes, open Sorry. this out. Sorry, let's open it so you can have a bit. Of, see a bit more of your fabric. Go for it, I don't need that. And then, so that's Chickens on Blue, DMMY19, the most popular one of the hour. And the second most popular is the one that I'm wearing. So this is the Vegetables on Cream. It's nice because it's like a linen yes. effect, but because without, that, it, being without linen. it being a linen, you've got that. It's that cross hatching in the back, the background mm. of the fabric. It sort of looks linen-y. It'd look nice as a blind as well. Yes. In a country kitchen. Yeah. Uh, the farmhouse kitchen to me, absolutely. This is just iconic for those with the colour scheme and the obviously the themes of the fabrics. And like you say, the um, oven gloves. Yes, it's oven gloves. Fab like that as Picnic well. Picnic camper. I could do, you could do a map for the garden. But you just go on and on. Make a whole, a whole family thing. Do you live countryside or, or no, town? No, I don't. I live seaside. Oh, lovely. I'm seaside. Oh, how nice. Yeah, I do like being... <laughs> Sounds like matching a song. Go I'm for like, it. I do like to be beside the seaside. And a dance. Yeah, I do like to do... do, 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 do. Um, yeah, no, I do. I love it. I love being by the sea. I do. I like it a lot. Are you Are you as well? Uh, no. No. Landlocked. Are you? Shropshire. Surrounded by... country, country. I am country. But we've just booked our holiday. We go and see the in-laws in Spain. Oh, lovely. We shall be getting our seaside fix at that point. <laughs> Get on the beach. Oh, Whereabouts lovely. in Spain? They live um, between Alicante and Valencia oh, on okay. the coast. It's lovely. Very nice. Right, I'm through. Yes. Perfect. OK, um, now you need to give it a press. I keep putting the iron in the wrong place. What you need to try and make sure is, remember when I was um, pressing the first step of the French seam on here? Yeah. I was making sure that seam was on the edge. So it's tight. We're going to do the same thing with this strap. Make sure that that edge sits on one side. Lovely. Um, and I'm going to use some of our lovely best press. Mm, let's get the smell going in the studio. Mm. Lavender spray. <laughs> I'll try not to spray the electrical equipment. So what, why do you use the spray? Um, it just gives a nice sharp, clean edge, and particularly when you're top stitching the straps, you want them to be as sharp as possible to create a nice clean edge for you to top stitch against. So it's quite a generous sort of spray, wasn't it, over the... Oh yes, I'll have to be generous yeah. with it. <laughs> And it's a, because it's a starch spray, just adding that structure to it. Oh, it does smell nice. Yes, it does, doesn't mm. it? This is the lavender one. What are the other scents we've the got? Other, we've got the plain... scent free, so there is no. There are other ones on the website if you if you um, don't like lavender. But that's, it does smell really lovely. It's very yeah. fresh. And um, then there's also a linen scent one as well. Oh, I bet that's lovely as well. It's like clean laundry smell, which you can't beat. But four ninety five. And there's no residue. It's not going to leave any any sort of you know those 
um, that white sort of residue that you typically associate with starch sprays. Um, but this one here just giving you that nice crisp finish to your ironing. And 4 95 so good value as well. Lovely. So now that that's been um, pressed, we'll then just go around those edges. Um, I'm just going to move the needle a little bit across to the right so that we're not too close, uh, not too far away from the edge. A bit further. <laughs> <laughs> Right, that's better. We need my seaside song again. <laughs> <laughs> you could do it next time. Oh, mm, no, I think you'd rather I didn't. If you heard me singing, mm -mm, not good. I've so just suddenly thought I'd start at the wrong end, but I haven't, so we're all right. So we're going to go down one edge. the end and then back up the other side okay one more so if you've just tuned in and you're wondering what we're doing we're making an apron from the sewing happiness book this morning um, and we're making the children's version so for that you need a meter and a half of fabric if you're doing the adults version it's two meters um, so this is the one that I'm well I'm wearing at the moment it's got lovely cross um, sort of straps at the back which is what we're doing at the moment um, perfect for the garden perfect for the kitchen a nice big pocket on the front as well so if you wanted to mix and match those fabrics you could add a splash of a, mm. um, you know a different pattern or different color in the straps in the pockets or what you could do is you could buy a meter and a half of the two different prints and make two aprons yes swapping them around so, that so you've got sense? one top and bottom and one yes. yeah I've got yeah. you I'm with you that's a nice idea And all of your instructions are in that Sewing Happiness book. So we, we, this morning we've been going through the, um, the seam, popping it together. We're doing the straps as well. But in terms of all of the details and the, the measurements of cutting it all out, that's all in your book. So now we take the apron and you've got the centre point, which I can still just about see. Let's be a bit more accurate than winging it. Just fold it in half. That spray smells so lovely. I can still smell it. Nice, <laughs> I'm really pleased. Okay, so that's the centre point, and the instructions tell you exactly the measurements you need because they're slightly different for each size in terms of the strap placement. This one asks you to put the straps three inches either side of the centre point okay. of the apron. One in there. And this is obviously the front, and then the crossing happens at the back. Yes. Place that one there. Get the threads off. And the open end we're we're popping on the top. Yes, the open end on the top, so that will get enclosed. There's some binding, which is this other strip that I've got ready. Is some binding. Um, what they've called it. I really like the idea of the straps in a different colour. I think they'd they really would stand out if you then we had the gold yeah, on those. I think they would. I think they'd look really lovely. And I particularly like those yellows together. The golden yes. yellow. The golden chickens and the chicks and eggs. Yeah, I think they'd look really nice together. Or you could even mix with a, um, a solid. Yes, you could mix, mix one in. Or yeah. you could, if you wanted to um, line the pocket, you could just peep a fabric through there, couldn't you? Oh, I always like a peep of fabric. A little surprise to yourself. No one else has to know about it, just that it's there. I like that. I quite often do that on the insides of pockets. Just put, make them pop interesting. It in. So I'm just basting in place the tops of these straps. It just helps keep them in place. Oh, helps if I hold my thread. Just keeps them in place when it comes to the next step. Yeah. When we... Um Pop, lock them in place. Okay. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's ending a needle down. So you've basted those in place. You can take out all your pins. Um, just a heads up, if you've got that book in your basket, just remember you need to make sure that you check that out. That's been popular in this hour. Um, D, oh, that's not your, the code's on the bottom, UMMZ40, um, and that's 19.95 for the Sewing Happiness book with those, um, well, the fortune cookie, um, I think, kind of little, um, I don't know how you describe that, cookie. 
that's how you call it, a yeah. cookie. Um, a journal cover, a scrapbook, um, a little dress option, some kimonos and uh, shorts, baby bloomers. You've got this apron, loads of different projects in there, um, all intertwined with, with the story um, of the author. My binding's not long enough. Oh, what happened? I don't know what's it's happened just... there. It's not long enough. Shall I demonstrate? Well, let's just demonstrate Shall what I it demonstrate would be anyway. what we'll we, imagine. What we'll do. Let's is extend our we'll, imagination. We'll trim down later. Don't worry. These things happen. So the instructions have asked you to cut binding to a certain length, which you ignore, and cut too short and make a mess. <laughs> Follow the instructions, <laughs> cut correctly. What I've done is I've turned in a little hem on each edge yep. to make it nice and neat. Um, you can, you've done the same on the adult one. Pin that in place over the tops of the straps. Yep. And we're going to sew that in half an inch all the way along. Okay. Yeah. What it's done is it's asked you to sew, uh, to turn in half inch on one edge. That's so that once you've sewn, you can then, it all turns round to the other side and then it's nice and neat. Really neat. Really just giving you that slick finish. Yeah. Great. Let's done that in advance. She says, though, that you can do it either before at this stage or you can do it by hand afterwards. Oh, but so that's could... quite a nice tip to do it at this stage because it's a little bit less fiddly because now, if you're at the ironing board, you've got all this all fabric to deal yeah, with. you've got the whole apron. Whereas the, whereas the um, um, binding on its own is not so difficult to deal with. You don't only have the binding to there because we're going to put a buttonhole in the back, do you? Uh, no, the binding's on this one as well. Oh, okay. The binding's just a way of finishing off the, um, the, the straps being attached to the top, here. and it finishes you off that top here, nicely. You can see here, actually, just on this, if I lift this over on my apron today, <laughs> that's just that top section here that we're doing. Just giving you that slick, professional edge. So after this, the next the next stage is to you attach the flip the binding over, give that a nice press again, and then the next stage is you create your hems on the outside and the bottom, and you can attach your pocket. I've pre-pressed a pocket here for you. Oh great. Okay. So while you're doing that, let's have a quick look at the book. Have a look at the origami cushions near the front. Okay, let's I see. really like those. I think they're called origami cushions. Oh, we've missed some of these front projects. Let's have a look. Yes! Origami pillow. Here it is. So this is just an example of how she's tying story into the, um, you know, the actual projects. This one here is the pillow, and she's, you know, talking about the importance of sleep and how much she's always underestimated <laughs> sleep. <laughs> so there's an origami pillow there, but they're um. And then there's a Tooth Fairy pillow. Why did you like that one so much? What did Not you... the Tooth Fairy no, one. No, the I... origami I, I pillow. I don't know. Just I just like them. They're really simple, yeah. clean lines, but uses a nice bit of skill because it's lots of um, straight stitching. But it's really effective, I think, to take a plain piece of fabric and make something so pretty. So you're not secretly into origami? No. <laughs> but then also you've got um, this triangle eco bag, so that's lovely for... Um, Really useful for that would look lovely in the in the um, vegetables fabric. Oh, that was my other all favorite egg, one. Yeah, really all the egg nice. fabric. You could take that as a shopper, you know, as a reusable shopping yeah. bag. That one's that pattern's been based on what the Japanese use to wrap their bento boxes in. Oh yes, yeah, all their fabric yes. folding. Yoga pants. So some some different ideas in this one. Oh, I like that eco bag. I think that particularly yeah, for those fabrics we've got in this hour. Yeah, it's really nice. Let's have a look at some of those others. Let's just skip through. Do just remember and um, check out your baskets on this book just because it's been really popular. Let's look at the spring projects. Oh, here we go. So there's an infinity scarf. So one of those lovely sort of looped scarves where you haven't got to um, tie it. It's already. If you've got that feather fabric, actually, in the, um, in the 10 o'clock show, that would look really lovely in that. Just that lovely drapey, soft, soft, soft drapey feel. It's a really lovely book. It's, it's one that I think you can spend a lot of time. You know, sometimes yeah. you can quite quickly assess what's in a book. This one is one where you would, there's a lot to read, there's a lot to take in. 
There is. And it's it's really story. visual because it's got really beautiful photography. It draws mm. you in. And in that colour theme as well, in those really natural um, sort of denim whites and this is your everything bucket. So we've got about three minutes left. So just so people know, on the pocket, we've just pressed the sides and the bottom of the pocket and then turned over a nice big hem at the top and top stitched that. And then you can apply that onto the front of your apron and just sew that in place. So, oh yeah, no, I'm with you, I'm with you. You're with me? Yep. So that's a sewing happiness book, UMMZ40, and that's 19.95 for that one. Lovely projects in there. Yeah, really nice. It's a really, it's just a really nice thick, it's a great coffee table book, but it's also, substantial. yeah, it's a substantial read. There's actually a lot to, a lot to take from it. Okay. So what are we doing now? So I'm just pressing that binding to the wrong side of the apron. Ah, so this is yeah. why, that's why before yeah. I was not sure. That's how the strap ends up being right on the yes. top as opposed to sort of looped over. Yeah, that goes in the top. And if you can see on this side, that's your binding that's been pre-pressed. So your binding, that, that was that pre-pressed edge that goes over the raw edges of the apron and underneath. A little Neatening, bit origami neat. all, like. Yes, <laughs> lots of folding. Lots of folding. But just neatening it all off. And then you make sure that that's nice and... Shall I tell you my secret? Yes, I figured always. Out, I figured out why my binding's too short. Why? Because I completely left out a step. Oh, <laughs> what was the step that got, what got left out? Hemming the sides of the apron first. Oh, so you do that first. That's you why I wasn't sure whether there was going to be... When I said about that button loop on the back, I couldn't figure out... So you, what was... you would have done is, if you'd paid more attention at school, you would have hemmed <laughs> <laughs> this side inwards to create a nice edge. And then that goes down. Oh, so then it does. So, so you didn't then, cut it wrong. No, I didn't cut it wrong. No, you just didn't. No, you just didn't. I just it. left out a complete step. Um, and then for the child's apron, you attach a um, attach. A you button. sew a buttonhole. Yeah. No, just the buttonhole. Oh, just the buttonhole. The strap. It's going to comes oh, across and loops through the buttonhole. Perfect. Lovely. So sorry about that. No, not at all. Away with the fairies. <laughs> well, on that note, I'll leave, we'll go, I'm going to have to leave you with the fairies. I'll go with the fairies. This, we finish the show. I'll leave you pressing, finishing that off. Thank you so much no for problem. showing us our apron. Thank you for having me. No, not at all. And I'm, I'm glad that Emily's castle turned out exactly oh, how she wanted it Oh, yeah, she was to. so pleased. That's all good. So I'm just going to head over to the other side to show you these fabrics. I'll see you in a second. So, um... The fabrics we've had on today's show, all from the homegrown range from Macawa. So um, the most, let's start with the blue chickens, which is the one that you've just seen Victoria working with. So you can see that here on that um, duck egg blue background with your white and red chickens there. Farmhouse kitchen, it's got that written all over it. DMMY90, not literally, but it certainly has in terms of the style of the print. And these are cut to measure, so it's 5.95 per half metre. If you want two metres of fabric, that would be four units. And people multiplying these, so obviously for the apron, we said two metres for an adult's apron, a metre and a half for a children's. But you could mix and match um, between those. Then you've got chickens on gold as well, so if you wanted to pair that and have the blue and gold chickens, you could put them together. Or, or again, separately as well, it works on its own. JKMY23 is your chickens on yellow. Then you've also got um, chickens and eggs. So um, introducing your eggs there with your chicks. So first of all is your blue chicks and eggs. So again, that nice duck egg blue. It's a nice soft one with um, speckled, speckled eggs and nice golden chicks on that. QGMY17, 5.95 again. And also the option to have that in yellow. It's, it's, a, it's a very soft, um, natural sort of, golden yellow as opposed to anything bright. Um, and that's on the bottom of your screens, LPMY30. Chicks and eggs on yellow. And finally, we've got our vegetables on two different colours. We've got the cream one, which I'm wearing at the moment, which has been very popular this morning. So this is um, all different allotment vegetables on your cream background. Aubergines, radishes, peppers, carrots. And then also you've got it on your hessian. It's not a hessian, it's a cotton steel, but it's just referring to the colour of the fabric. And that's on the bottom of your screens, just coming up now. 
Hessian is there. Here it is, GCMY90, that's um, the homegrown vegetables on Hessian. So, six different fabrics on the show today. We've only had them on once before, so it's nice to get them back in. And coming up tomorrow, let's have a look. At eight o'clock, Girl with a Sewing Machine. So, Jennifer Taylor is back with her brand new book, which sold out last time it was on. It's been incredibly popular. At 9 a.m., Lucy's Traditional Block. At 10 a.m. is Sherd Sundress. And at 11 a.m., Lucy's Quilting Corner. So, Lucy Brennan's back. So thank you so much for your company today. We've had a lovely show looking at that apron um, with Victoria and also those gorgeous cave bundles this morning and the quilt bundle as well. So I'll see you again very soon. Thanks for your company and have a great day. Bye. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing, work, we create and love.